three, two, one. Push. Mm. Oh my God, that's cold. Yep. Hello. Oh, welcome back to You Betcha Radio Podcast, the coldest podcast in all the Midwest. I'm Miles, you betcha guy here with Ryan, the t-shirt guy. We are live mm-hmm. here yes, in the Troy Escalade are. Jackson Memorial Podcast Studio. Mm. We're here in the stew. We got a great episode. We got a little special guest from Nashville. Ooh, Nashville. Um, Travis Denning is his name. He's a great country artist, but we'll get more into that later. Um, before we do that, Ryan, how you feeling, buddy? Feeling good. Good to have you all back in the stew. We missed you. Yeah. How was it? Nash. Nash- did, I did you guys get nashty? <laughs> <laughs> did you yeah. guys get stupid? Did you guys? Oh, get- I'm still pretty nashed right now. Hey. Did you get stupids and nashty? Hey, we got. <laughs> did you? Yeah. You remember? Yeah, I remember. Oh, right. Then we went to the. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you should just, oh. oh, that was great. Yeah, you had to be there. That yep. was a good one. Good. Yeah, it was good. Good. Yeah, me and Jared had a good. good time back here too. So. What'd you guys do while we were gone? Just podcasted the whole time, pretty much. <laughs> yeah, yeah you guys do need the practice. Yeah. On release yeah. episode. Yeah, chit chatted a little bit. So other than that, uh, you guys were gone last Tuesday to Friday. Yes. So Sunday. Sunday. Tuesday to Sunday. So was I. So, um, yeah, I didn't, as, uh, as am I, <laughs> as am I, I, uh, yeah, I mean, Tuesday through Friday was pretty chill at home. Just kind of, it nice. Ne- yeah, it was beautiful. Binge and Netflix. Uh, I can got the lawn mode for the first time this Ooh, summer. I got to do that. Ooh, that yeah. felt good. I did bag it too. I didn't mulch it like I normally do, but bag it always looks nice though. Yeah. Know? Yeah. But first mow you mulch. I know, but I had too much thatch underneath, mm. uh, this last year. Yeah. So I said, I eliminate well, the like thatch. Got, don't mulch it. You got to get a mower that has a thatching attachment to it. I, what else do you want from me, Tyler? It's just a rake. You can just rig a rake onto it. True. True. Very, Very true. true. Very true. <laughs> yep. True. Good points had by all. True. Yeah. Yep. Didn't know we were talking thatching today, but here we are. <laughs> yeah, it's. I mean, it's got to be done year to year. So yeah. every year, do you do it? I'm uh, new homeowner, well, so I need to take some. Notes. The first two yeah. years, I did not, and then I could definitely tell it. It, oh, it took a yeah, hit. Yeah, God. you had a pretty good layer underneath there. The oh first God, time I, I still do. House. Yeah, maybe I do it again. Yeah. And then I like, aerated uh, too. Do you, it, was it so thick that it was kind of like? Uh, when uh you get a bad sunburn and your skin starts peeling and you try and peel off the biggest pieces you possibly yeah. can. Yeah. Yep. Is that what it was like? Pretty Pretty much. Grass. Yep. Uh gold member. Yeah. 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 Awesome skin powers. box, please. <laughs> <laughs> like, My neck looks like a vagina. <laughs> <laughs> why on earth what did they think of that? That why I don't know. Like I I there's I don't understand why he was just continually <laughs> peeling skin off of himself. <laughs> I love gold. I love gold. But there's no correlation between his character and no. the skin thing. Well, he's like, oh, this is a good one. I got to <laughs> shave it for later. Well, he, he eats it. Too. Yeah. yeah. Well, he lost it, a no, bunch of weight, but I didn't, I didn't think that was like a side effect. Member. That's, that's, that's fat, fat bastard. Well, that's fat bastard. He's the one eating his skin, though, isn't it? No, no, no. That's Wait, gold member. So you got to remember, yeah, yeah, you gotta remember it's one actor playing all of these <laughs> Which sure, yeah, I didn't yeah, know as a kid watching it. I had no idea. Bananas. Yeah. So... Michael Myers, he even plays uh, in Halloween too, <laughs> which is wild. That's true. From That's one true. end, one of the spectrum yeah. to the other. I can't argue with that. Straight facts, Ryan. I well, know. one's Mike, one's Michael. It's his drunk alter ego. Yeah. No, if you would have seen my yard after uh, dethatching, it looked like a look like a hay field. It looked like mm-hmm. a freshly cut alfalfa field. Nice. Yeah. So it was pretty good wild. For, but good for the horses. Yeah. yeah. Save a horse. That's your yard. Feed a horse. That's your yard. <laughs> yep. <laughs> it rolls off the top. <laughs> that goes great with our deer cans. Bush Light John Deere collaboration mm. cans right there, baby. Yep. Um, time in Nashville. Was it Was it a time in your life? Oh, it was definitely a time. Do you mean hey, Smashville? Hey, do you remember the... Yeah. <laughs> no, no, after and we, then went, we went yep. to that one, no. uh, the bar. <laughs> Yeah, and then he, oh, the guy, he, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, you, oh guys you, guys, yeah, 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 yeah. you guys told me about that. Yeah, you guys told me about that one. Yeah, I, we, they, they were there. Oh, Jake. Yep, yeah. yep. <laughs> yeah, you guys oh, told me, Jake told me uh, about that one. Yeah. Ah, <laughs> uh, that was good a good time. time. Yeah, yeah. I did hear time. about that one mm-hmm. from Jake. That yeah. was a good t- good one. Oh, no, that one didn't have anything to do with Jake. Oh, it didn't, okay. Yeah, yeah. okay. So, yeah. you probably didn't, the thing we were talking yeah, about. Yeah, the one, yeah. <sighs> So, um, no, it was good. Nashville is one of those towns to me 
growing up here in Fargo, it's like it's obviously much bigger than Fargo. Town or city. And I just get a little uh just get a little exhausted being in that like just run and gun type of atmosphere. Sometimes it's nice to be reminded why we like small towns so and much. And why we like living in the Midwest. Yeah. So it's it's there's a lot of like values that like the like southern United States match with mm-hmm. the Midwest or whatever, yep. but it's just still not home, you know? That makes sense. It is really weird how it's just like like it's it's a blast, but I don't think I would ever be like comfortable there. You know, like not a settle down for me. You couldn't get like super comfy. Yep. Too much hustle and yeah. if that makes no. sense. A lot of bustle. Yeah. And a lot of hustle. Especially I'd like noon on, noon on Tuesday is wild there, I, from what I hear. I mean, so kinda. That's a Fillmore reference. If you guys didn't pick that one up. Mm. Oh yeah. Yeah. yeah, I remember that. I was, that was pretty good. drunk during that podcast. Noon on a so. Tuesday. Yeah. Uh, where was man. that podcast at again? For some reason, I can't figure out where it was. I don't, I yeah, can't, I've, I've literally after we left there, I've never been able to find that place again. <laughs> no, not me either. Very it's, frustrating. Uh, yeah, yeah. To never be found again. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> <laughs> to never be found again. Cheers. Cheers. You just yeah, okay. Uh, it'll take us a little bit to get all back going to normal. I know. Here, Ryan. We'll get yeah. back in the swing, Jared. You remember that time last week? Oh, yeah. <laughs> that was fucking crazy, dude. Yeah. Anyway, go on. I hated that. <laughs> I hated that. Wow, Jesus. Uh, this weekend we are going to Wisconsin again. Mm-hmm. <laughs> we are. You guys are all over. Yeah, I've been everywhere, man. International. Uh, Superstar. <laughs> I was say harvester. I was like, <laughs> or harvester, yeah. Not not doing any farming. No. Um, but uh we are going to a farm, so maybe that would have been a good one. Mm. Apparently it uh Bush is having a giant cornhole event. Yeah, which I when heard hearing giant cornhole event expected massive cornhole tournament. But no, no they like really massive mean massive cornhole boards that you have to use yes. like a slingshot. Oh no! Oh, shit! Yeah, you have to use like a slingshot to to like play. Will you slingshot me? Oh yeah, onto the board. Slingshot engaged, man. Yeah, we're doing it. Shake and bake. I might be over the weight limit on the slingshot, so you might have to go. <laughs> hey, this could be your way into an event. You just weigh like you don't weigh anything. Meet the, so I meet can, the weight requirement. Yeah. Correct. Yes. Are, is he heavy enough though? <laughs> You just, we I just think fling him and he just he just like floats <laughs> down like a piece yeah. like a paper airplane. He just hasn't came down yet. Yeah. Well, that'd be you. I know. Yeah. I'm third person. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> um, so yeah, well, uh, if you're interested in going to that event, I know you can just buy tickets, right? Yep. So we'll be there. If you guys want to come play giant cornhole, I think they got regular cornhole. So do you think your regular cornhole skills will transfer to the slingshot cornhole? I'm feeling like they mm-hmm. might, Jared. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm feeling pretty good about my normal cornhole skills transitioning into big cornhole. I honestly might not even use a slingshot. I threw discus in high school, so I might just be doing the little <laughs> Do the spin discus. move. Yeah, oh, shit. yeah, that could be a good move. Um, why aren't people enough people talking about the fact that, uh, like? We all have done track at some point, and then we just never think about track ever again. You know, yeah. that's a good like, point. I used to run the, the mile in eighth grade track. I it used, only- yeah, it was on like a relay team. Uh-huh. I did yeah. long jump. I did high jump. I did shot put, like all the other stuff. And then you just you do all that, and <laughs> then you just don't ever do them ever again. No, yeah, or no. even think about them. Maybe a tiny bit in the Olympics. Yeah, but. But not really. You're not going to be like, oh, I did shot put in, in high school or middle school, so I'm yep. going to watch it on the Olympics. You know? Yeah, my sister runs track in college, and not the only break. time I ever <laughs> think about track is when she's talking about it. Yeah. Well, to be honest, even watching the Olympics, I haven't thought about my previous track and field career. No, yeah, time. you don't ever mm-hmm. think about back when I used to. No, well, I always do. I always Every oh. time I watch the same events, I'm like, God damn, that is so fast. I actually, uh, I, I'm not a big nerves guy. I don't get that nervous for like sporting events or, or like even going on stage, just more, you know, whatever. But I, re- I specifically remember getting like weirdly nervous about mm-hmm. track and field events. Yeah. You gotta take a quick shit. Before I was just going to say, I used to get the nervous <laughs> poops before when they would call the, call my event. Yeah. And what would you do? Um, well, I mean, like I would run to the bathroom as fast as I could. And then if. 
then what? You Nine just, times you out of just ten, put it, your put your feet in your hands on both sides of the wall, and you just let her rip, and hopefully no. you get done in time to to get to the thing. You just destroy the per- porta potty. Nine times out of ten, it was ah! fake. <laughs> oh, Tyler's almost ready. I can hear it. No, I just used it to get a little extra push off the blocks. Mm, yeah, that's yeah. true. So you'd shit your pants right there. Yeah, you loosen the load. Did you guys ever have the Hershey's track track and field meet when you were really yep. young? They had the softball throw. Like Speaking of Hershey. that shit. That shit was awesome. Oh, I thought I you were talking that. about like there's a Hershey's one that you have to do. You have to be really, really good and you get invited to it after state. Oh, no, this this is like open to the public, basically. Mm. Um, I used to run train through the softball throw. Nice. Easy money. Uh, I think I might be able to give you a run for your money after my Dave and Buster's experience. This I weekend. saw that. I wasn't overly impressed, to be honest. Hey, let's cool it on the Dave and Buster's talk. There's more to come Sorry, later. Sorry. Okay. <laughs> All I, I, Classic Tyler just blowing his load early. I was a tease. Yeah. It was a tease. Oh, okay. But, I'm getting people excited for it. Yeah, I could give you some tips on being a side armor if you really want. Yeah, it. I think I'm gonna have to adopt that. So, so speaking of summer, mm. talking side armor, talking baseball, mm-hmm. summer, summer season, <laughs> the boys of summer. Boys See, of summer yeah. You know, yeah. I was there. It's good. Speaking of summer, Jared. Mm-hmm. We are going to, we got some stuff we want to get done this summer, right? Yep. So what do you guys want to get done this summer? What? Mm. So I have, this summer, I have an extensive honeydew list that I have not done in the past year. Can so you... I moved into my house about a year and a half ago. Okay. And there's just been stuff, you know, like you move into a new place mm-hmm. and you got to like get acclimated. Then after that, there's like, so for example, like. Like hanging shelves and shit in your garage. Yep. Um, organizing your storage room. Right now, it's just like we're in the mode of like, just we'll deal with it later. <laughs> At some point, I got to organize that shit. At some point, it is later. Exactly. <laughs> um, got to do that. Do you want to know something really sad and embarrassing? We do, yeah. yeah sure. Please. Why not? <laughs> I still don't have house numbers, and we still have a cardboard <laughs> numbers taped you in the window. You had that no. since the day you moved in. I was there when you taped that up. Yeah, no I still, shit. I still have the cardboard numbers taped to my window, and it fucking flaps every time I open your door. Yeah, and every once in a while, like if the like AC or the heat's blowing too hard, it'll like get underneath the blind and then like mm. blow it off, and then it <laughs> like falls down. And you got to retape it back up. How so does the, how does the and you know. I don't know why I have, don't have any house numbers. Why? Because it's my responsibility to do it. Gotcha. <laughs> and it's on my list. Just keeps it's, it's a mental list too. That list? I don't have a physical. Maybe that's my problem. I need to take the honeydew list from a mental verbal list to an actual physical list. Maybe you get done. That yeah. would help you a lot more. It's just going to keep getting longer until you start crossing things off. That is true. No better feeling yeah. than crossing them off. Or you yeah. could just you could just pull the Uno reverse card, and then it becomes your fiance's honey do list. <laughs> <laughs> just walk home one day and Give just her hand her the Uno reverse <laughs> card. <laughs> See you later. You're going to the bar. Yeah, that would be great to be honest. Um, maybe I should write the list on the back of the cardboard yeah. of the oh, thing. Yeah. There's something That's- so satisfying about crossing shit off a list. Sometimes I'll write down something that I've already done onto my list just to cross it off. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. No. Oh, shit. I actually yep. have done that before too. It's weird. You know, I'm actually not a big cross out guy. I'm a big guy. Uh, I put a square next to it and I just fill in the square. Mm. Ooh. So you're more of a check mark. I'm guy. kind of a coloring guy. I like to color. Yeah. You're a colors <laughs> guy. Wait, so you color in the, the box. You don't check to put no, a check. No, I'm in. not a check. I like coloring in the box. If it's a uh, filled in box, more satisfying. Done. Yeah. Plus, then you can still read all the stuff you got done. If you're crossing it out, it's like oh, I, I'm a single line through the middle of the letter. That's psychotic. I'm a delete, no. I'm a delete guy. I just delete it. <laughs> the list. Don't you like to? See I don't the, know how psychotic that can be. But you don't know. You like to see the progress you've made through the day. Well, yeah, because I, I mentally remember how long the list is to begin the day. No, but then, I still make like physical lists though, sure. where I write them down. So you can't just delete them. I write them on my phone. Yeah, I got I got notes list. Oh, I bet I have. In my notes section on my phone, I probably have 55 lists that are half done that just <laughs> oh, keep God, getting yeah. buried because I just keep making new yeah. notes. I bet if I scroll through, I can yeah. find. Yeah. It's <laughs> so unbelievable. That, that fucker is long. <laughs> and it's like random shit. You can't remember why you wrote it down. In the first mm-hmm. place. Yeah. Yeah. It'll be like four numbers. Like, why the hell did I write that down? Yep. And sometimes I'll write shit on my daily to-do list to do in like two weeks, mm-hmm. which also 
kind of fucks with you mentally yeah. because you don't get it done that day. Right. Uh, but there is no better feeling than being able to put a list of five or six things down. Get them all, them all crossed off. off. Delete those sons of guns. No, no, you got to leave them. Delete them out of your life. It's, Mentally, it's they're like, not there it's, anymore. It's like getting an award. <laughs> For yourself, yeah, I've gotten many. What well, I guess, what do you, what do you, what do you mean by that? Yeah, you know, you've if you've gotten many, you know how great it feels to get an award. Right. Crossing all the shit off on your list is like an award. Sure, it feels good. You feel accomplished. I have a. Uh, oh, kinda, I have an unfinished list from 2019 on my phone. You better get that shit done. Uh, I was supposed to mail a check, so, <laughs> <laughs> so someone didn't get paid. Uh, Ryan. I was supposed to get you something for our, our new hat designs. Probably didn't do that. No, we are still waiting on that. Yeah. Actually. Uh, oh, one thing I didn't cross off that we did get done was the shoot the five stages of deer hunting. Mm. So that one I got. So probably just didn't finish Fill in the box. crossing stuff off. Um, yeah. Another one was edit slash post pod. That was probably late. Um, <laughs> But yeah, a couple of contracts I had to sign that day. It was a good day. Oh, here's one. I have one out of three, four, six <laughs> done. Um, I did have a call that I got done. I had another call that I know I didn't do. I remember that. Um, this was 10 18 2019. <laughs> um, yep, shoot travel guide video. I don't even know what that is. It def- must def- not have happened. We definitely didn't do that one. <laughs> that didn't happen. Midwest um, Travel Guide. You were you told me about this. You were gonna do it with Charlie. We didn't do that one. Yep. Yep. I think you did Midwest Uber instead. Yeah. There's a lot of notes in here. <laughs> I'm trying to find a couple of. I have 428 too. notes in my notes section. Eight too many. Yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> what? What? I also have. One from five seven twenty twenty two. Mm. Four a four a six are done. Nice. As long as you cross off a couple off your list, you're good to go. Right. And that's how my list just keeps getting longer and longer. <laughs> they need to make an app that takes all of the unchecked things for you and your multiple lists and create a new list of them for you. Yeah. Do you guys ever make lists of shit that you have to pack? Yeah. I, I don't. That's a good a idea. A lot of the little tiny. So like for for instance, this one is from. Uh, January, March, March 10th, 2020, sh- soap, shampoo, bathroom bag, passport, and charger. Mm. Me- must have been a Mexico trip. That's e- <laughs> easily forgettable <laughs> stuff. Yeah. Yeah. They say don't use the soap down in Mexico. You know, you want to know what I do when I'm packing? <laughs> What's that? I start from my feet and I work my way up. So I, yes. I go. I, I do go, the exact opposite. Yes. Oh, you start at the st- top? I start head down. I, I don't know why. I don't know what the psychology yeah. is. I start at the feet. You know, so I got my shoes and socks done, pants, shorts, belt. Oh, yeah. That's a good one. Yep. Yeah. People forget belts I a lot. I forgot belts you when forgot we went to belt. Wisconsin. We had to go, to, we had to go get one. Really? And I only yep. have one belt. So Me too. <laughs> you, got, you couldn't borrow mine. Nope. Um, and then all the shirts, stuff like that, necklaces, you know, yeah, the chains, chains uh, your ascots, puka, the puka, uh, and then my earrings, and <laughs> yeah. then you get up to the hats up top. Sure, it's got your shirt. No, sunglasses. Yeah. <laughs> I used to do that for baseball, uh, packing for a baseball trip. I'd start from the feet up. So you don't up. do that anymore. Uh, for for trips, no. It oddly, I start with my midsection, like my shorts. <laughs> so it's boxers, shorts. And then down to the socks and shoes. Are and you then a bo- up to the? Are you a boxers guy? Are you boxer briefs? Are you a briefs? Are briefs. You, Wait. You like whitey tighties? Well, no, you're a boxer, boxer briefs. briefs. Yeah, yeah, boxer briefs. You're not a briefs guy. Do they we still- shared a room in, in the Ozarks, Ryan. I know what kind of underwear you. No, wear. I know. I know. That sounds <laughs> spicy uh, and hot. Compression boxer briefs. That's Wait, a, that's just boxer briefs. But they're performance material. Oh my so, fucking god! <laughs> in Those case, are just boxer briefs. Dude. Well, the mobili- every single None, boxer what brief if, you buy on the market now has the stretchy like th- material. What if he's so being you, serious? No cotton. There's if, no cotton. I was gonna say all of them now are not 100 percent cotton. If you're still buying 100 percent cotton <laughs> boxer briefs, <laughs> there's they, something wrong with you. There's something wrong with you. <laughs> they get like all baggy and no, shit. I'm, like, I am currently wearing those because I'm fresh out of clothes oh from our Nashville trip. I bet you've been uncomfortable all day i have been they get like too tight around the thigh <laughs> yeah and they're loose everywhere else yeah i i am on my absolute jv squad of underwear right now <laughs> really I, I brought the whole varsity to nashville and they're dirty oh i did too i just wear them again i mean wear the same
same pair for like four or five days. Yeah, flip them inside what? out. Yeah, flip them inside out. Same with socks. Flip I, them inside out. I won't rewear underwear. I won't either. Yeah. Day to day. Yeah. I do too much damage on those babies yeah. all day. <laughs> I'm wearing tear. Absolutely damaged at the end of the week. <laughs> so you're telling me you you wake up, you see underwear on the floor, you do the sniff test, and you're like, good enough, throw them on? No, I don't do the sniff test. At most, I'll wear them for like two days at, at most. This is uh, this is interesting. <laughs> so time out. You actually wear underwear for multiple days? Two days at most, yeah. That's disgusting. I think it's maybe it's more so I, d- I just don't have enough pairs. Like what What if you like that day, you like maybe just play a little b-ball. In if the, I get sweaty, I'll change no, them out, like, no question. But I'm not talking like beads of sweat. I'm just talking about know, that like little like. Uncomfortably warm. Uncomfortable warmness where you have like a little bit maybe like uh, swamp action going on down low. Oh, you're, then you're, then they get changed out. Okay. So I'm moist, talking on a typical day like here at work, sitting in my office, uh, not doing But much. even just sitting in a desk chair for multiple hours is like gross enough for me to be like not doing that. Or like. If I work out in the morning, I'll ch- I will wear different boxer briefs. Oh, for that. okay. So I will w- rewear a pair of underwear if I'm working out in the morning, and then Correct. I'll throw that in the bin. So I'm not. Di- yeah, that makes yeah. sense. Yeah. So like yeah. the underwear that I slept in, I will wear those while I work out and then change. Yep. Yep. That's the system I'm on, Tyler. Okay. <laughs> system. That makes more sense. It, that was a great save. By yeah. The in there, I'm still not <laughs> buying it. No, I, you you can. It's cheap. You can buy it easily. It's <laughs> I swear. it's the truth. I, swear. I love how you're still referring to like stretchy, non 100 percent cotton boxer briefs. I mean, as, these are straight spandex as, as compression shorts. Well, you know, like, right, so are you short- wearing like actual like the compression shorts we used to wear to like like the under? No, what are- if you had like the the baseball <laughs> slider shorts yeah, on yeah. that have like the butt pads for yeah. sliding? I used to wear in college. I used to wear those for boxers because I just didn't have anything. I bet he just walked around looked like he had a huge dumper, <laughs> just <laughs> absolute absolute dump truck on Ryan the t-shirt guy in college. Uh, rewind to sophomore year of college, dump truck. <laughs> <laughs> Where'd it go? Lost it. Uh, got, skinny now. Hey, got cut. Uh, got skinny. Got That's, cut and lost it. I buck ninety in college, nice. sophomore year. I literally senior year of high school. I was like a buck ninety five. Yeah, buck ninety sophomore year. I said, you know what? I've had enough. I want to. I want to get. I want to be the skinniest guy in the county. I want to be. <laughs> I'm gonna be get so cut this year, and I did. And here, here we and are. Now you're skinny. Now, now I had to buy all new boxers. <laughs> No dump truck. That's anymore. why you don't have many boxers. Yeah. Yeah. Correct. Still I've just been head. a cycle. And mm. like, I gave you a pair of jeans, Tyler. You did. I gave you a pair of 36. Those don't, don't fit, fit anymore. No, they don't fit me anymore either. <laughs> There's <laughs> no way he's fitting the 36. No, anymore. I gave, um, had to give them to you. Still have a pretty scrawny waist. It's the above it that's not uh, that's not so oh, skinny okay. anymore. All right. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. I mean, Males Even below tend, it to too lose, is... tend to gain weight in the stomach region before anywhere else. Yeah, but the, the hips and ass are still the same. Sure. But the belly, she's a growing. Uh, no, that'll happen. That'll happen. Yeah. Low, low T, especially. Yeah, yeah. Not yeah. as much. Not, shit's not burning off like yeah. it used to. Metabolism. Yeah, yeah that's metabolism. No idea issues. what a fucking metabolism mm-hmm. is, but I know you should say that. I got to get mine running. That's yeah. for sure. Uh, yeah. Is your metabolism running? I think. <laughs> Better go catch it. <laughs> what are you doing this summer, Ryan? I'm a uh, big project of mine. Well, oh. I, got, I got two of Time them. Time out. Ryan's got a big project this year. I got two ship lap. The first one. Yeah. Ryan's got two big projects this year. First big project: regrowing the grass in my backyard. Okay, what happened to it? Trashed dog. Uh, a <laughs> lot of foot track traffic. Uh, not much water last <laughs> Why year. Why is there so much foot traffic in your Didn't backyard? You get a fence? It's it's, it, it's right off of my patio where everyone where if you're going from. The patio door to the yard, it's where everybody walks. So okay. everything is just kind of mad. Are you going to put it's... down some like stone or something there, maybe? I want to do a walking path. Maybe maybe, maybe some pavers. Maybe I have to put a couple two two tree pavers down. Okay. Yeah. That would be ideal. Uh, so I got to get some grass to grow back. Last year, I fucked up with my sprinkler system. I, I didn't water it long enough. I watered it frequently, but only for short periods of time, which mm. didn't work. Trying to save on the bill. I get it. Kind of. Um, I got to grow the grass back. Second project, Miles. Got to get the ship lap done. I thought you finished it. I did, but I haven't put the trim up yet because I can't find the right trim. Oh, Holy fuck. Man. This ship lap so, project is still going on? I mean, the trim is literally, it's a 12 by 8 wall. I literally Fine. need two eight eight, <laughs> foot, eight footers and two 12 where, footers. Where? 
could get on that to do list. I I'm like just, getting yeah. mad at him, <laughs> and I have like 40 <laughs> things. I yeah. still don't have house numbers on my house, yeah. and I'm getting mad at him for not putting up the trim pieces. Yeah, I mean, it would literally take me after I get it and bring it home 10 minutes. Well, it Electric sounds nail like gun. it might take longer than that with your skills. Well, you know, I just I can't find the ship left, and I can't find it once. I'll check two months later. And maybe That's see true. if it's in stock then. Why don't you just go online? Order I it. did. I, I, it's out of stock. Can't order it. If you go to... Supply chain issues. If you go to Fleet Farm, find the trim you want, and they don't have it currently, they will order it and then alert you when it's in. Yeah. Okay. I'll do that. Do it Fleet tonight. Farm. I, I didn't know they had that feature, but I'll do that yeah. for sure. Yeah, I love how all all of our stuff to do this summer is just like house projects, yeah. pretty much. And that's where we're, we're at. We're to right that now. age. We're such weekend warriors. Yeah. Uh, I gotta get. I got a rental. I'm not doing shit there. All right. Well, then, Tyler, what do you want to do this summer? Uh, I'm going to try to the for the first time build a deer stand. Uh, I've never one. actually oh. built my own. I've always just hung like hey. portable ones or bought blinds, triangles. Yeah, a lot of triangles. A lot of triangles. Yeah. Just start. Get the four posts. Are you because is it going to be a freestanding? Yep. Four posts and then just start X and boards okay. like, all the way up and down. Yep. The more X's, aka triangles, the better. Because I feel like it should be pretty simple, right? It's just a box on legs. Well, we thought that about a lot of things. That's Remember true. when me and Charlie tried to build the bar for our new podcast <laughs> called Bellied Up that's going to be releasing in a few weeks? Yeah. Mm, uh, nice. Do you remember that? I do. It took six hours. That took us six hours to literally screw two metal legs on <laughs> three fleet farm trips <laughs> no shit that video is unbelievable it's, has that came out yet it's the most frustrating mm -hmm. video you'll ever watch okay by the way but good entertainment yeah yeah hopefully um box blind yep okay my dad built a really I still nice haven't box decided blind. if i want to put a roof on it yet because i'm so used to bow hunting i like having absolutely nothing to block my view, even those corner posts. Got it, Tyler. Um, it's so nice sitting in an enclosed blind, though. I know, but you know You're going to put windows in it? I don't know. That's what I haven't decided. I think you're going to want windows. Yeah. Then you yeah. can be scrolling on TikTok all you want. 1,000%. The, 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 the reason I'm thinking about it is because I want to start hunting with my kid here soon, mm. and he's not going to be able to handle the cold. Need a box. My yeah. dad's got a blueprint for a box blind. He built his own last year, two years ago. Uh, tell him to airdrop it to me. I will. I will. It's a, it's a great blind. Okay. Well, good luck on finding the lumber, though. Apparently, he can't That's, even get trim. Board. I think I'm gonna no, mill it. Are you, hey, are you gonna put trim in the? Uh, in the no, deer hold stand? on, hold on. <laughs> get the base built up, then have the finisher come in, Ryan. This guy put ship lap on the inside, and then it'll be done perfect time for all of my kids to be able to hunt. Yeah, no, I'll so, be done my deer hunt season in September. It'll be okay. done fall 2026. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> perfect. That's when the trim comes in. I just got the notification the other day. Okay, <laughs> cool. The other day. Uh, four years from now, so. All right. I think I can pencil that what in. Is, I'll, I'll remember. I want to know the uh, probability on this thing actually getting built and done this summer. Uh, pretty good. We got the legs. That's not a percentage. <laughs> oh, percentage? I would say I'd give myself an 85%. 85%? Wow. Yeah, because things have already started moving. Got the legs pretty well put together. We got to find... How many triangles you got? Uh, so if you count an X on each side, that would be four triangles well, per side. Well, that's like one of those those things on Facebook. That's how many like, triangles how many, are in count this? Count the triangles in this thing, and then you're always wrong. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so if there are technically four triangles per side, then that would make 16 triangles Oh shit. on just that's the base. Good. That's a fuckload of triangles, dude. That's... Yeah, so I just got to build the box now. Well, before we do that, I want to put the legs where the stand's going to be. Yes. And I haven't decided yet. How are you going to concrete them into the ground? I, I don't know. I think I'm just going to dig holes and put them in there for now and let it settle. And then if it settles weird, then I'll put concrete in and, and level it out and stuff. I don't know if I trust yeah. that. You know I'm a concrete yeah. guy. Yeah, I don't know. You got to get some large sauna tubes. <laughs> sauna tubes? Go Google it, Jared. Yeah, I don't know if that's the actual I think that's the actual name. You're going to take, you're going to dig a hole. You're going to put those in and put a little rebar rack in there. Then you're going to pour concrete in there, and then you're going to... Well, are you going to bolt them mm, to the okay. concrete, or are you... That's No, it would be, like a, it would be your, like a quick crete situation. There's your deal right there. Well, so are you going to put the post then and then put the concrete around it and, like, level it? Or are you going to have it angled? How so is that's, it going to go? I'm going to dig the holes first and level it out, and then eventually it's going to settle, right? So it's not going to stay that that level forever because it's going to shift into the ground. And once it's done shifting after it's been there for a month or two... Then I'll fill the holes 
and make sure it's level again and then quick creed it. But all it's going to take is like the ground shifting again to like, that's why you use concrete to yeah. like ruin your whole thing. But then I also, they'll I'll never be able to move it. So like, what if I want to so move this thing? You stand? could bolt it to it and then um, you can always move it later. Okay. I, think, I honestly think my dad might've just put his six feet under like legitimately. Yeah. It, I think it's like three or four feet. It's pretty standard, but I'm, I mean, that I've sucker heard. doesn't move. Yeah. No, you just, you guys know me. I, I, anything you can. You should build a deer stand just purely out of concrete. I bet I could do it. <laughs> that would be sick. I would need my dad to be there. <laughs> dad. You need to supervise because yeah. otherwise it would go badly. Are you going to let your dad have any input on this deer stand? Absolutely not. No, I figured no, so. Zero. I might, I might I figured build a so. precast deer stand. <laughs> yeah. You should patent the mold. Well, no, I just buy like four precast things and then just have a cutout of a walkway in and then just spiral staircase up. Okay. That'd be sick. That would be sick. Get a little cold in there. You could even yeah. have like, you get breakfast going on. Oh, it's on pretty the lower well level. insulated. Huh? Breakfast going on the lower level. Yeah. I have levels to this thing now. <laughs> and then if you see something from the lower level, then you go up the stairs and yeah. pick your, pick your shot. It's a tree yeah. home. Yes. The ti- it's essentially a tiny house on legs. Yeah. This has got legs. It does. Yours isn't, but Tyler's is. Yours wouldn't be at last. I think what I'd also like to do at the top, make it look like it's like a tree. You know, I guess. Like, <laughs> no, really like blend the, in. Like those, uh, those like. Uh, Concrete jungle. <laughs> where dreams are made of. Mm-hmm. Uh, like the electrical poles that they started to try and look like it's a tree, but it just clearly yeah. is an electric. Electric, what is it like a radio tower or something? Cell phone tower we started doing that, yeah. Cell phone tower, yeah. Things. We were in a, a store in Nashville that they did that in their in their warehouse. All the braces they made look like trees. No, mm-hmm. shit. You know? I don't know if I've ever seen that, yeah. It was interesting, huh? Uh, I've never been to Nashville, so yeah, <laughs> wouldn't know. You mean Smashville, Nashville? Uh, do you remember? Yeah, that? when we were there, we saw there the, that one guy, yeah, <laughs> he couldn't figure it out. <laughs> <laughs> And then the look on your, yeah. <laughs> the look on well, your face. The look like, on oh my face, the look on yours. I, and then, I know, the, so I then, then they, when they showed shake, up, and then, oh and my then God. holy uh, shit. <sighs> it was a good time. Yep. It was a good time. <laughs> um, Pretty stupids. <laughs> that is fucking We did go stupids. to stupids, by the way. <laughs> yep, we did go. I was there on Wednesday. What day were you guys? I was one drink away from going all the way that night. You were <laughs> really. <laughs> he was upset with us because Jake and I wanted to leave because we had early shit the next morning, and Miles was that's, like, "It was that's night why one you, too." Yeah, it was the oh, first you're night. A classic night one, yep. just rager. But the thing is, is I'm not like a guy who ends out of commission the rest of the trip. I'll suck yeah. it up the next day. <laughs> Sure. And Jake were like, yeah. no, we're going night back one, It was miles. 11 o'clock and I was like, you want another one? And I thought he said, yes, I was probably projecting quite a bit. <laughs> and then like, I got stopped by someone or something. And then I like turned around like, what do you want? And you're like, I don't want another one. And I was like, what? <laughs> you, you, you were, hey, you remember that trade show that we went to and you, you were out of commission the next day. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he was, oh, out I let the OOC. Party, I let the party get the best of me. That you did. happens, all right? Yeah. <laughs> Every yep. once in a while. We started talking financial advising with some guy at the bar. Oh, my just God. Went, just blowing smoke out <laughs> yeah. my ass. No idea. Autopilot. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> like, I'm a former D2 athlete. Of course I'm a financial advisor. Was it on the Patreon episode we talked <laughs> about the mortgage lending? Uh, I told the guy yep. that, yeah, you have to listen to that. You got to go to the Patreon episode. I was talking about how everyone has... You just got to know one fact about every market. And I was talking to a mortgage lender and was just like, oh, heard the heard the rates are going through the roof right now. And then he's like, yeah, you're absolutely right. Yeah. That's all I knew. And I we yeah. just bullshitted the rest of the way. So it's always a good move. And then just a bunch of nods after that. Uh-huh. Yeah. It's a butter yeah. market. Uh, hey, yeah. no shit. Uh, seller's market. For oh, I didn't sure. know that. Yeah. Oh. I'm, I must have missed that in Small Business Mag. Yeah. <laughs> a lot of homes around Talk here. a little yeah. bit about refinancing. <laughs> oh, uh, yeah. But you don't call it refinancing. You call it refi for mm. those, for oh, those yeah. in the industry. That's yes. So, Is that um, a yeah. cousin to lo-fi? Also or big, Wi-Fi? <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> refi, lo-fi, and Wi-Fi. Big tip, too, if you're talking to anyone involved with real estate, just, say, just keep saying, oh, 
God, the 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 housing industry right now is going bonkers. <laughs> and then they're like, yeah, I know, I know. And then like, tell you what, tried to how tried to buy a house the other week, bonkers. <laughs> Just keep saying bonkers over yeah. and over. And over. <laughs> Is everything right now is bonkers? Apparently. Yeah, because yeah. yep. that's vague enough too. They yeah. they just think they know what they want to talk about, so they just fill in yeah. the blanks. Yeah, well, same with the mortgage lending. It works for that. <sighs> Rates right now bonkers. They're like, yeah, it has gone up. Or if they're low, like, yeah, it is bonkers. They're super low. Yeah, it works in either direction. Just, you don't even know need to know what you're talking about. Just say bonkers. Yeah, bonkers <laughs> might be one of the most versatile words in the English dictionary. Right I would agree. Now. I would Can agree. use it for anything. Yeah. This Mountain Dew Purple Thunder is bonkers. Absolutely bonkers. <laughs> Cryptocurrency right now, NFT world is bonkers. Bonkers, dude. <laughs> um, Sockum boppers are Sockum bonkers. Probably bonkers. Yeah. There's a set of those at David. Dude, Buster's. putting putting together putting together a, a deer stand is bonkers. It yeah. is. Mm -hmm. uh, Dave and Buster's in general is bonkers. Yeah. <laughs> Putting house numbers in your house is bonkers. It is. <laughs> yeah. It's unbelievably bonkers. <laughs> We've now said it enough. It means nothing yeah. to my brain. My it's, brain has no idea what bonkers means. Yeah. It's starting to be one of those words where you either write it so many times or hear it so many times. It starts to lose. Like when you think about the word itself, like, what the fuck? Why is it bonkers? Right. Like, but even like, what is bonkers? Because, yeah. because like all the other like w sensational words, like bananas, like it's, it's a real thing. Like what's actually a bonker? Bonker. Google. Bonker. Oh. <laughs> bonker. <laughs> barely know. Oh, barely know. Bonker. <laughs> what's it say? British word. Bonkers is a British word that, according to Word Detective, which I'm sure is super reliable, <laughs> yeah. the online, I'm not even trying that word, first cropped up in the early 20th century, then meaning lightheaded, giddy, or slightly drunk. Ooh, are we on to something? Are we about to get absolutely bonkers tonight? <laughs> yeah. You guys maybe want to get bonkered? Yeah, I don't want to get fully blacked out. I just want to get slightly drunk. <laughs> maybe get bonked later. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> the word evolved to mean insanity at some point after the Second World War. <laughs> so post, what, 1946? Six. Yep. Yeah. yeah. So... Bonkers time. Again, versatile. Does it mean slightly drunk? Does it mean insanity? Yes. I don't know. It's bonkers. Mm -hmm. Interesting. World War II is bonkers. It was. <laughs> I love how just like they use the war as like that's the, you know, like that's the point where it turned. And that's how you can also tell a old person from a young person. We're not talking about like, we're not like, oh, yeah. So I remember uh, it was during the it was during the war on terrorism, you know, <laughs> yeah. in the early two thousands. Like we don't talk like that, you that know. True, yeah. Like, but old people. I think it's because we were not required to fight in any wars, and old people were actually mm -hmm. drafted, yeah. into them. And so I think that's probably like why probably. it's such a big, big thing. milestone for but, them. But yeah, so I think that that's a lost thing now. We don't go by uh, telling by time by wars anymore. Yeah. Which is quite bonkers. I was just gonna say I I am bonkered right now. Yeah, I'm totally bonked. I'm bonkered up. I'm bonked up. Anyone want to get bonked tonight? <laughs> you maybe want to go to Bonk City. <laughs> bonkers would be a great name for a bar. Go there and it get probably slightly drunk. is like 28 mm -hmm. in just like Minnesota alone. Probably. Named bonkers. Um, Jared, what do you want to do this summer? So I want to be able to run 10 miles in one run. You could do that right now. You're just mentally yeah, holding yourself back. You just mentally back. aren't bonkers enough. You've I, got it in you. I could run five right now. You oh, could do ten. Yeah. So that's my goal. All it takes is one time. Just like, run true. slower. Well, that's and true. after five, you just get into runner's high, and it's just coast mode from there. Yeah. I wouldn't know anything about that, but it sounds right. The runner's high. Is runner's weird. high is a real, real thing, yeah, and it's I've bonkers. It. Yeah, yeah, it's it is wild. bonkers. You, like you can literally just keep going. So yeah. there is still time to reconsider the whole running thing, Jared. <laughs> Not yet. Not no? Yet. Not You're yet. still all in on it? I got the 10K this How's week. How's your shin splints? Are you ready for that? But they, yeah, much improved. Oh, you got a race what? coming up. Yeah. Well, on much Saturday. How did you fix your shin splints? I think I started walking more, so I, like, I'm more mm. in shape. So I think and probably my shoes had something to do with it, too. You get new shoes? Yeah. There you go. So I think that helped, and then I'm just more in shape now. 
Because okay. I've been walking a lot, too. What shape are you in? <laughs> uh, about five miles, I'm huffing and puffing. Well, I just mean, like, you know, kind of more of a square, rectangle. Triangle. Oh. You're yeah. solid. Yeah. You're strong. Yeah. I'm you an, are strong. I'm an upside-down triangle, by the way. Ooh, trapezoid. Uh, like oh. bowling pin? Like Johnny Bravo style. Bond I had a, the principal before I got in high school was the shape of a bowling pin. <laughs> it's also pear shaped, is what that. Yeah, mm. that could be it too. Yep. My body's quickly becoming an uppercase P. <laughs> when you turn sideways. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. My body looks like a temple, <laughs> or like a like Fuck a up. like a brick wall. A temple Almost. was it like the Washington Monument? Mine looks long like, and skinny? like a brick shit house. <laughs> yeah, pretty much a shit brick. House. A bricked up shit house. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so that's where I'm at in life. Bricked but. up bonker house. <laughs> We got to change the bunker to the bonkers. Yeah. <laughs> Welcome to the bonker. We're in bonker 2.0 right now. It's like someone who has an accent would say that, you know, bonker. like we, yeah. bonker. I don't know what accent would say it, but me either. Welcome to the bonker. Yeah. How would Seaforth say? I'd be like, like Australian like, kind of like wanker. <laughs> but they, <laughs> but they, they really pronounce the A. Wanker. 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 Whatever. I don't know. Um, yeah. I mean, good luck with that running thing. Yeah, Saturday, that's you. a big day for you. Mm-hmm. That's a it's an electric race. I'll be honest with you. Yeah, uh, you won't live stream also, the whole time on Patreon. Also, we can't <laughs> we can't let him off the hook with the whole hash browns thing. Yeah, it's a whole thing. What is the whole what thing? Happened, what happened? What is the whole thing with the hash brown? I didn't even know. hash brown boy. You quit. It's on hold. Oh, oh wow! It was causing oh. the shin splints. It was causing the shin splints. No. My Vegas trip ruined it. Yeah. That he, was the step I stuff. thought you froze some. I did, and I brought it on my carry on luggage. And they took it? No, they, it was fine. But then right when I landed, it was just, it was gross. Mm. Like they were like melted and kind of mushy. Oh, I tried God. freezing before I came. It just wasn't quite right. Yeah. So you're a quitter. Yeah. Uh, well, to Jared's defense, he never said 62 days in a row. I said every day. So I don't know. He oh, did God. say every day for Damn 62 it. days. I'm sorry, everybody. <laughs> Jared, Jared's us. out. We got to We got another. And now you got to start back over at zero. <laughs> yeah, that's no matter how this goes down, you guys may want to head to holiday and get a hash brown. Sure. Sounds yeah, delicious. that sounds great. A little hash brown yeah. or some perpy thundy. Yeah. Maybe a hot pickle. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh yeah, baby. Mm. Hot peas. Um. Yeah, but it sounds like we're gonna have a good summer. I gotta pick one thing though. I gotta get done. Yeah, you haven't really said one yet. You said shelves and. The- well, one. I gotta get the house numbers on. Okay, good That's one. Number Make one. that number one. Which my dad is now, my dad is now like heckling me about my house. <laughs> That's numbers. the worst. Like he's talking shit to me. Like, well, it'll be something completely unrelated. I'm like, uh, I'm like, oh yeah, we're gonna be in Wisconsin this weekend, Dad. Whatever. He's like, oh, guess it's another week. Those numbers aren't getting off. <laughs> yeah, happens all the time. Uh, he just, he just relentless. All he can think about now too is those house numbers. Oh, so okay, what kind of numbers are they? Just like stick on, or do you have to like? No, I gotta, I gotta drill in because they're gonna be like uh, floating. You know? Okay. So what? you gotta, so like they're like metal numbers. Oh, because they're going on that concrete slab you have in your yard, yeah, right? I got concrete everywhere. I'm a big concrete guy. Jan everywhere. Yeah. It's like a everywhere. like a headstone Jan almost. everywhere. Uh, for anyone wondering what what, well, those, what are not, the numbers? Yeah, yeah let's six maybe nine, not six, reveal nine. to everyone exactly where I live by giving too many details, Ryan. <laughs> I mean, there's there's not that many headstones in Fargo. Ten thousand houses in Fargo. <laughs> Anyways, maybe more. Now I got to get rid of the headstone. Just bleep out all the headstone talk. <laughs> um. So they're floating numbers. <laughs> He's rattled off. So, the, so you got the metal number, and then there's like a screw that goes in the back. You drill a hole in this concrete thing. You then glue it into there, and it appears as if it's off of the face of the thing a little bit. Mm. And there's a light that shines up on it. And you know what? That's not a weekday project. That's a weekend project. So if you're not home on the weekend, it's hard to get done. Well, and I mean, the weather and the wind. Yeah. You can't do it in the wind. <laughs> no, God, no. My just, numbers. You don't got, want that glue going everywhere. No. Glue everywhere. I don't want that. Yeah, it's got to be pristine condition. But then also when it's pristine c- condition, I want to sit on the patio and have a beer. Yeah, you so. don't want to be hungover either. Well, okay, you can yeah, have a beer. It can't be hungover. <laughs> it can't be windy, rainy. 
cloudy. And no, 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 no more excuses. You're gonna get it done. No, I tell no you, no, he's not. I'm telling you, that I got fucking the perfect day. Can't be windy, cloudy, is- rainy. I can't be hungover. I can't have anything going at all that day. Yeah. <laughs> it needs to be a Saturday. It can't be done before noon. And no, oh, it can't. It's got to be an afternoon project. <laughs> uh, and. Yeah, I think that's it. That's all I need. <laughs> and it's got to be maybe it's got to be in the month of July. No, nah, it might be a little too hot. Maybe end okay. of June <laughs> or maybe end of like, so beginning I got September. two uh, two days <laughs> to get this done. If it doesn't align perfectly, <laughs> that next year project, <laughs> your dad's just gonna come over and do it for you. Have you ever though? Like like actually, when I was cleaning my garage the other day, it was like. There's too much wind coming in, so I couldn't sweep. You <laughs> Did know? you have the back door open? <laughs> so it was just, I was all going to blow back in. Did you, you have know? the back door open? Uh, no. It okay. was that windy that day. I was going to say wind tunnel. My f- my house faces north. Mm-hmm. So if you're looking for my house, just look for one that faces north. Mm-hmm. It's a big north wind. Okay. <laughs> I mean, you also did, did just describe exactly how your house numbers look. So they're not wow. up yet, so it's fine. Yeah. True, yeah. Well, literally, literally don't exist to the world yet. <laughs> True. He hi, so, tr- how does a DoorDash driver find your house? The cardboard. cardboard number oh. in the window. Yeah. We have a cardboard number downstairs in my office. And what's yep. funny is I'm pretty sure there's still like painters tape. It's like the blue. Yeah, tape, it is. So it's yeah. not even like good looking tape either. I mean, that's how. And it's not like a square. <laughs> it's like someone ripped off the cardboard, <laughs> mm-hmm. and it's got like an unfinished edge. You just the first thing you saw that you could write numbers on. That's what it no, was. No, it's literally the one that the contractor when he built the house oh, really? put on the window. God, your dad just must. Hate well, it's, at that. Oh my god, it stresses him out. I'm pretty sure he like doesn't even like. I think he actually avoids coming over <laughs> because hey, he, you know I haven't seen you guys in a while. You want to come over for a drink? And he, I'm sure he just makes something up. Or he just comes in the back door so yeah. he doesn't have to see it. Yeah, yeah. comes from Probably. the south. Yep. So I got to get the house numbers done. Honestly, I can't even think past that. Okay, so the shiplap <laughs> thing turned out to be a huge deal. I think the house numbers are well, a bigger so the, deal. Well, if you want to really dive into the problem, then I got sent the wrong <laughs> screws that go in the back. Or uh, well, So is it glued or screwed? Well, so it screws the screw in the back, and then there's a thing that sticks out, and then you glue that into the concrete, so then it's a floating I could just like do not floating. I could just screw them in. Yeah. Or put the cardboard on the concrete. But yes. now, <laughs> but now I've committed. Oh, that would be smart. Yeah. Yeah. Why cardboard don't you just get a concrete. marker and draw on the concrete? I think yes. Maybe spray paint. No. Stencil. Yeah. When they were doing the concrete, you should have just etched it in with your finger. <laughs> yeah. And then put your name by it. <laughs> uh, that's not how concrete works. You got a form there. You wouldn't know, Ryan. Ah, well, we so what do they make? Sense? No, what we should have, what I fucking should have done. Mm, go on. So what you do is on the back side of the form, you put styrofoam. Sure. Styrofoam letters, you nail them to it. Mm. So then it is a holdout. So then when you get done, you pull the form off, you chisel all the foam out of there, and it's indented, embossed into the concrete is what I should have done. Damn it. You can just do a repour. Just to get, add an yeah. extra oh, inch of concrete and, and around it. it. Well, no, I'll just tear that one out. It's just sitting in the ground, basically. It's a footing underneath it. You guys wouldn't know. The uh, tons of rebar, stuff like that. Um, I'll take that out and I'll list it on Facebook Marketplace and sell it as a headstone. And then someone can just, you know, etch stuff into there. Give there it to go. Jared for after his 10K. Yeah, I could do that. Just, Put it just in, my in case. Yeah, or my liver on Saturday night. Uh, I know. Uh, smash so many brewskis and get bonked. You just keep that for your wedding. <laughs> Dead man walking. Yeah. That'd be funny having sitting outside, <laughs> yeah. sitting outside of the venue. Yeah, just, just your gravesite. I have someone like laser in my face and stuff, you know, like the headstones with the faces mm-hmm. on them. And it's got your birthday and then the day of your wedding is the death. <laughs> yeah. Wait, so I need to revert back to putting your like name or initials in concrete. What do you mean that doesn't work? Well, not if there's a form. So like you can do that if it's a if it's like a driveway. This is on a sidewalk. No, this is standing straight this up vertical. Wall. No, I, I'm just talking in general. Oh, well, you can't see that from the road. I don't know anything about concrete, so I'm. <laughs> We know. Yeah, I, I thought you said. Uh, okay. I can fucking tell. Yeah, I don't. I don't know anything about concrete. It's gravity. And the worst part is, is, I just wanted to be cute, right? I had to like do this extra like thing in my yard because the contractor looked me square in the fucking face and said, "Do you want me just to put them 
on the house oh. right here, right now. And I was really? like, no, I'm gonna, I got this, I got this great idea. It's going to look cool. I'm a concrete guy. It's a little, you know, little nod to the past. It's different. And now I'm fucking sitting here and a year and a half later and I still have no house numbers because of my own doing. Yeah. I mean, I look good after the shiplap thing. Well, no, it's mine's a lot more complicated than just stripping down a two inch board. It it was complicated. Okay. <laughs> the dumbest fight. <laughs> I'm looking good. You didn't even know how to put the floating things on. So on the headstone? Yeah. I just wouldn't have done that to begin with. I, I just know. exactly. You just you just take the easy route, just do shit. Actually, wow. no, mine are mine are on the brick on the side of my house. My numbers are wow, real original. They're not floating, but <laughs> not I have a fucking you. headstone in my front yard. I know it's yeah, weird. you dug your own grave already. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I really did with these house numbers. <laughs> mm-hmm. Oh, I'll tell you what, home ownership is bonkers. You should go home tonight and do that. No, I have two. I got to do it in June. I got two Saturdays. <laughs> Pick the longest day of the year so you have more time. Yeah, <laughs> that's yeah. true. Yeah. Hey, just procrastinate. Yeah. Summer equinox. June 21st. Miles, are you going to go? This is, this is my fiance, right? This is a, I'm just like, this is what I, it sounds like to me. And, hey, are you going to go do those house numbers? And I'd be like, honey, longest day of the year. I got plenty of time. <laughs> longest day of the year is a Tuesday. And then after you get it done, you go in the house, you sit down on the couch, have a beer, and you're just like, Oh, that was the longest day. <laughs> yeah. A lot of me- a lot of mental strength. She can't argue with me yeah. on that one. Only works once a year. Yeah. <laughs> Jesus. A lot of mental strain though. Yeah. Oh, sounds like we're going to have a pretty good summer. House numbers, shiplap trim, trim and yard. Yep. Um you got to pick one. Which one are you getting done? Trim. Trim. It's got to be done. Trim, house numbers. 100 miles a summer? Uh 10 miles. 10 miles at once. Yep. No shin splints. Yep. Oh. And uh, putting up a deer stand. Yep. Busy. Tyler's is by far the most difficult. <laughs> well, it's, I don't know. Your numbers might be the most <laughs> difficult. Mine's already half done. <laughs> you maybe put some triangles around them numbers just I for gotta, strength. I, just for support. Because, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, with this, this Midwest wind might oh, not. Oh, my God. I had to make it an eight inch concrete wall so it wouldn't blow over up there. Imagine if he came out the next day and they were just gone. <laughs> Down the street. <laughs> it's like, like a tumbleweed blow. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> My numbers. <laughs> oh shit. That wasn't glue. He just retapes the cardboard. It was back actually up. no, it was actually yeah. lube instead of uh glue that I put in there, so I just <laughs> Just come flying out Hopefully of there. Hopefully people aren't getting those two things confused often. <laughs> that would be unbelievable. <laughs> Glue and lube. Yeah. I thought I had some cock, but instead it was lube. <laughs> Either way, I had a great time. <laughs> uh, Thanks for the memories. <laughs> uh, lots of laughs. Well, speaking of lots of laughs. Oh, yeah. So, guys, while we were in Nashville, we met up with a bunch of country artists mm-hmm. while we were there. And uh, one of the guys we met up was Travis Denning, as I said earlier. Um, he was he was a good time. Yep, uh, he was like one I, of those wind up toys. Well, we were we were kind of pissed like that we did this like at like ten a.m. because mm-hmm. we kind of wanted to be like, so like you want to go get a beer after this? Yep. Cause, like I don't know. He just was a cool dude. Uh, he's from Georgia. Yep. Correct. Yep. Um, and now he obviously is a phenomenal country artist um you may know his probably most famous song is that what you say that yeah his most popular um, is called after a few so you gotta go listen to that on spotify apple whatever it's called after a few if you're a country music fan you probably have heard it um he also was nominated for an acm 2021 award he was nominated for the acm 2021 male artist of the year so yes. that's pretty impressive and cool. Big time. He's uh, he's toured with Dustin Lynch, Riley Green, Alan Jackson. I mean, you should ask AJ. Miles. That's that's sweet. It's a big list. Yeah, that's quite the list. So, um, not only is he a decorated uh, country musician, he's also a good dude. Um, and uh, talk a little. DMB to start. Oh, well, Dave and Busties. So uh, he, here is our conversation with Travis Denning. Guys, before we get in the interview, we got to talk to you about Holiday Gas Station's exclusive 
Mountain Dew flavor, purple thunder. Pew, pew, pew. Guys, this flavor is absolutely delicious. It is a berry and plum flavor. Mm, God. Which is funky. Which is bonkers. Which is <laughs> purple thunder is bonkers, baby. Absolutely. <laughs> um, again, you can only get it at holiday gas stations. I know there's a lot of uh Mountain Dew fanatics out there. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You gotta try the new flavor. It's only on holiday. You gotta head there right now. On the fountain, too. Tyler mixes it Ooh. with booze, too. Yeah, a little vodka. I did the peach schnapps. I've, I'm experimenting mm. with it. I think I might try tequila You're next. You're a mixologist is really what yeah, you are. essentially. Yeah. yeah. Nice job, Tyler. Yeah. <laughs> mixologist. Yeah, they call, I'm the official mixologist well, of did holiday. You, did you come up with a name for the drink? Skull. Uh, yeah. Oh, the skull drink. Yeah. Can you do the... You want me to do a skull chant right now? Yeah. Uh, all right. Hold on one second. Oh, purple thunder! <laughs> purple thunder! Purple thunder! Purple thunder! Purple thunder! Purple thunder! All right, go to holiday. Crowd goes pur- fucking nuts. Get a purple thunder. Here is our <laughs> interview with Travis Denning. <laughs> All right, guys, uh, we are here to welcome on uh, Travis Denning here on the podcast. How you doing, man? I'm doing good. How about you, boys? Good. You're doing good. No um, one ever asks us. Thanks. Yeah. yeah thank you. Appreciate that. Yeah, absolutely. I'm doing, We're doing I could tell you, get, you looked good. Not great. Yeah, yeah, I could right. tell so, yeah, yeah. something's you on your shoulders. It. We're, you nailed it. We're yep. a little tired. Yeah. You know, yep. we, were at, we were at Dave and Buster's last night, so big Absolute night. Absolute riot. You know, Did you know that Dave and Buster's is the same people from Barnes & Noble? Yeah. It's, yeah, Dave, it's Dave Barnes, Barnes and, Buster and Buster Nobles. Unbelievable. No yeah, I swear. Yep. I just read yep. this. Yep. Yeah. That's great. A hundred percent. Close cousin to Ben and Jerry. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Yep. I knew it was a bit like there's a riff in the family or something. Yeah. Like, yeah they, they don't do. talk about that much. Yeah, I'm yeah. surprised they didn't go into rival ice cream businesses. Somebody somebody listening right now is like, son of a bitch, I had no idea. <laughs> they, they were yeah. candles and games. <laughs> well, I don't know if you know this about us, but we are an educational podcast. Oh, okay, not yeah, entertainment. Yeah, yeah. We just inform people of things. Oh, Literally perfect. our podcast exists of us being like, I don't know, is that true? And then we like Google it and we're like, oh, I guess it's not true. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <Whoops. that> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> don't Google the Dave and Buster's one. That is true. That you don't. Is, you don't have to look mm-hmm. that up. There you it's go. True, That's yeah. a fun fact. Yeah, we come all the way to Nashville. We're from North Dakota, and we go to Dave and Buster's. So yeah. that was a hey, fun fact. That was the the first date that me and my fiance went on. Dave and Buster's. Yeah, nice. I swear to God, she had ne- she didn't know what it was, and I was texting her, and I said like, we should go to Dave and Buster's. And she was like, what is that? And I said, I'll pick you up in thirty minutes. <laughs> I said, I can't really explain it to you. Yeah. And uh, found out they have one of the greatest happy hours in existence. Really? So we we went there. I bought a Jack and Coke, and then she got like a margarita. Yep. And this was at like, you know, one fifty eight. So I buy it. It's like twenty something bucks. You know, yeah. mm-hmm. ten Ar- bucks. Arm a drink. and a leg. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I go back to buy another round after two o'clock, and it was like twelve dollars for both of them. And I was like, what happened? She goes, oh, our happy hour started. She goes, everything's half off from two to seven. (laughs) (laughs) That's happy hours. That's that's, that's like happy afternoon. I mean, that's like, and I was like, y'all do that every day? She was like, every day. (laughs) And I I mean, I realized what it is, is that nobody goes to Dave and Buster's to drink. So they got to do something. To be at Dave and Buster's at 2 p.m. For sure, on like a Wednesday. (laughs) Yeah. But I learned that, and man... Yeah. Well, it comes six thirty. You're you're feeling good from happy hour. You start reloading that card oh, left dude. and right. More tokens. You order those yeah. twenty five hundred calorie chicken tenders. Mm-hmm. What was funny is like if you notice their their door has got a huge tint on it because I think they're doing the like casino thing where they want you to not know what time, yep. time it is. is. Yep. Right. Yeah. yeah. We came out of there. It was like the sun was just like. Yeah, it was down, and we're like, "Oh my god, how long have we been here?" You know. Yeah, we came last night. Yeah, I know. <laughs> yeah, it's like a PG rated casino. Yeah. yeah. What's your uh, go to game there? So the la- the last one I did where I really scored on really well was the Angry Birds one. Oh, oh yeah, nice. Because I actually, uh, this is not even a fun fact. This is a straight up sad goober <laughs> fact. But the Angry Birds is kind of my like airplane game. Yeah, uh, yeah. And I'm on like. 
level 783 or something. Still rolling with yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. And th- yeah, it's it's embarrassing. At some point, I, I kind of feel like I, I just hit the thing, the, kind of the, the peak. Yes. And I think the game's like, let's just – Send them the same levels over and over. <laughs> so You're I like, did. The, I think I played this one about like eight, pl- eight plane rides eight ago. years yeah. ago. Yeah, yeah, I remember this. Um, yeah, I played the Angry Birds one. Got it in a strike, and I got like two thousand tickets. Oh my god! I got a coffee Damn. mug. Hell yeah! Okay. Yeah, nice. An eighty cents coffee mug. Yeah, exactly. You know what I'm ab- really, really pissed about now? I know. Is we got a whoopee cushion last night from Dave and Buster's, and we were gonna put it underneath your seat, and we forgot it. <laughs> And it would have been the greatest it's prank. It's a great way to test the waters yeah, with new been people. Awesome. Yep. Either that, that or you horrible. guys have been like, these guys are who the children. Oh How great would that have been, though, if I did that and then y'all sat down and that? I had done it also? <laughs> it's like, I think y'all are now in my wedding. I mean, like that, yep. it'd be that fast. We yeah. got to we gotta become the Whoopi Cushion podcast. So then, you know, guess if they do any research, then like they're like checking underneath the And things. they're just constantly yeah. looking. Yeah. But you take years off. Yeah. All the heat dies down. Yep. And then as soon as it does, you bring it back. Yeah, yep. it, yep. And it just hits. People will be back. demanding it. Yeah. <laughs> I want to well, sit on Whoopi. I uh, didn't know you were such a Dave and Buster's guy. That's a little fun fact there. Yeah, I like man. That. I mean, I grew up in middle Georgia, and there was one in Atlanta. And I remember we went one time, and I just remember going, and we had dinner there. And like... Dude, when you're seven years old and you go to Dave and Buster's for dinner, I mean, you just don't give a shit about eating. Yeah. I mean, I was like, I sat there. Yeah, I can't imagine your parents trying to get you to eat your oh, chicken yeah, yeah. nuggets. Oh, you know? yeah. Like, like I had, I, I remember, I weirdly remember everything. And it was like spaghetti and meatballs. And it was one of those just big meatballs. <laughs> Just took, one meatball? Yeah, yeah, just the big old meatball. And I took like three bites, and I was like, mm-hmm. I'm done. And they kind of looked at me. They're like, just just go. Well, it's been go. smart of your parents to, to lie to you. It's <laughs> been smart of them. Uh, and tell you that the machine doesn't turn on unless you take a bite of your food. Unless you have they're, like... They're, they're walking around work. with the plate, and they're like, all right, all it's right. not going to start go until you take it. a bite. Go for That'd it. That'd be a good move. I want a remote... That day, I remember we, we had an early dinner, and we stayed for hours. And I won... Oh, man, I'm trying to remember this. I mean, it was like five, five digit amount of tickets. <laughs> like, in, I mean, it was probably 15,000 tickets and I got a remote controlled little Ferrari oh, thing. Yeah. The RC. And that was pretty cool. Cause I mean, even my dad was like, dang, you like, you actually won something. <laughs> I mean, you didn't win a bouncy ball. Like, it's pretty cool. And we took it home and turned it on. And it didn't work. It broke out immediately. <laughs> and it never yeah, worked. Yep. Yeah. I mean, it never. I mean, it just never worked. Yeah, you got to go to Barnes and Noble. Say, I want to speak to the owner. I want to speak to Dave <laughs> and, and or Buster, <laughs> one or the other. Also, it, while I'm waiting, I'm gonna read a book. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> um, so you you said you just mentioned you're from Georgia. Um, so you're a big Alabama Roll Tide fan, right? Oh yeah, <laughs> absolutely. Yeah. I feel bad for him runners up this year. Oh, yeah. yeah, I knew that yeah, was coming. Yeah. 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 No, uh it's funny like us Georgia fans, you know, Braves finally won one. I see that Braves hat over there. Uh and I knew when they won, I was like they've broken it. They've broken the state curse. Like we're good. Georgia wins and it's so funny we're just like, yeah. And and I am like that. Don't get me wrong, but we're like, yeah, we beat you Alabama. Who's won seventy eight <laughs> times in the past three years? <laughs> like, yeah. it, they're they're like, all, all right, right, cool, we'll whatever. Give you this yeah, one. we'll give that you this cute. one. Yeah. yeah, yeah. They're like, congrats, we finally gave it. But uh, they're like, oh god, honestly, I was so sick of partying after winning. Like, yeah, <laughs> finally I can take a break. Oh like, god, I don't have to travel anywhere. Or something. <laughs> yeah, that was uh, that was pretty awesome though. I watched that with my um soon to be in-laws and i think that was like an eye-opening experience for them oh they got to see the real you yeah i mean it was was rough i mean my (laughs) it is funny how sports just bring Mm -hmm. out the just the best and worst in people like a like a animal side (laughs) just like couldn't sit down i'm screaming I'm yelling at grown men yep. that I don't know and yeah. I'll never know. You're yelling yeah. at grown yeah. men who are wearing tight pants. And yeah, and I'm just on like each other. And, and it's, I, yeah. you're sitting there yelling at a ref, just going like, "If I ever see that guy, I'm gonna throw something at him." I mean, like you don't even know the guy. He's like literally just trying to feed his family. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. He, he probably does like charity work, <laughs> work his ass kitchens, off to get to that amazing level. Amazing guy. They blow one call and I'm like, well, there goes your gas lines, buddy. I'll tell you that. Watch out. You know? Yeah. I mean, uh, everybody. Good, good luck driving home. Yeah. Slash your tires. 
I mean, that that really is what it is. I read something on the internet one time. It was so true. It said, boys will literally pick their favorite team at 11 years old and let it ruin the rest of their lives. <laughs> yep. That's I'm a, this guy here. Yep. I'm a huge Vikings fan. <laughs> yeah. I wouldn't let my fiance watch watch a game with me until we were engaged. I had to wait. I wouldn't. I would watch it alone in the basement. Like, you're right, you gotta you're right. leave. I gotta. Yep. I gotta get this a little bit more like solidified. Yep. I gotta lock it down before you see me watch a game. Yeah. yeah. Matt Madison doesn't like watching games with me. She goes. I just. You know, and like she's gone to one Georgia game with me, and it was like Georgia Missouri. I was like, I think we'll I think we'll be safe at that one. Yeah. Like I don't think I'm gonna get that upset. <laughs> and she was like, I just. She's like, Are you gonna like yell? <laughs> I'm like, Yeah. And she's like, Well, bad yell, like. Probably yeah. it's Georgia football. Uh, I mean, I've bad yelled when I, we played like I, high I school. Have, I have demons. And yeah, they're gonna exactly. come out of me. Yeah, <laughs> so a hundred percent. Yeah, a hundred percent. But it made it that much. How you can spin it though is like, see, like I I could get crazy, but I don't. But I yeah. don't. <laughs> yeah, I do it all here. I leave it all on this table, <laughs> on the football table. Yeah, there you go. Um, no, I think that sports bring out the best and worst. Um, yeah, you know, they're roller coasters. We're, so we live up in North Dakota, and Tyler's from Minnesota. So Tyler, I don't. Really, I'm like, it sucks cause being from North Dakota. You don't have like a big team, really. You're kind of all surrounded by big teams, right? And so I don't know. I don't really have like a dedicated team, which kind of sucks. But it also makes fantasy football a lot easier because you're not romantic about <laughs> about you know, one yeah. team. Yeah, like oh, I really think the Falcons are going to do it this year. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Um, but Tyler's been suffering for I don't know how long being a well, Minnesota I wouldn't sports say suffering. Fan. I mean, you, you uh, could be a Dirty Birds fan. I mean, you could have grown up a Falcons <laughs> fan like I did. Yeah, true. Yeah. Well, the Falcons did beat us in what was it ninety seven. NFC Championship game. I remember it like yeah. it was yesterday. Well, so. at least you didn't have the the, the biggest implosion in sports. That's history. true. Yeah, that's, that's true. Oh, a yeah. forever meme. The the number one. I mean, like you're talking about dropping the folding chair on the railroad tracks, seeing the train three <laughs> miles away, and going like. I'm here it comes. Here it goes. I'm going to let it run over me. Okay. Well, sweet. This has been Can fun. Get, we got a beer over here or something. Yeah. Well, oh, there. It's closer. There we go. Oh yeah. Yeah. Glad I'm not you, man. That uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh so uh one thing we wanted to talk to you about is one of your first songs was about your first fake ID, correct? Yeah. And that's a true story? Yeah, totally true story. Uh I was um I had a buddy who was going to UGA, I had a lot of friends going there. I was uh, failing out of Georgia State <laughs> at the same time. Uh, great time in both of our academic careers. Yes. Um, but I would always go to Athens on the weekends and stuff, and you know, Thursday nights, it was super easy to get there and hang out with my buddies because Athens is just so fun. Well, actually, like that brings up a good point. It's like, let all your friends go to like uh, go to college. Right. You get a job, make, start making some money. They hang put, they out just them. party at the college oh, parties. Oh, there you listen. Go. They're paying to party. You're getting, you're getting paid to party. Hey, and I'll tell you one even better. Become a singer <laughs> and get them to pay your ass to come and perform yes. at their yeah. things. There I'm you telling go. you. I, Is that and, what you did? Oh, absolutely. That's so smart. Oh, man. I yeah. played Delta Sig parties. I played <laughs> stuff like that. I'd play it like bourbon. Uh, this one, well, no, I didn't play it bourbon, but I played at a bar called uh, General Bogards. They paid us like 250 and we had to bring our own PA, but it was like, hey, there's going to be college kids there. Yeah. And it's going to be fun. And so, yeah, all my friends would come out, but yeah, I used to Go to a couple of bars around there, and there were there was there's so many bars in Athens, Georgia. There's like eighty something in a two block. Oh yeah, like it, it's yep. just insane. So everybody knows, like, okay, that's like the senior bar. That's like where this th these people go. That one's tough. And then it's like there's three bars where they don't give a damn. Yeah. I mean, if you have something that is like the shape. They just, they take it and they like spin it around, don't even look at they it. They're just like, they're kind of like, mm, right, that's, that's tangible. Yeah. It's something. And one of those. Wait, is, <laughs> is this a Dave and Buster's card? Yeah, they're like, <laughs> first drink's on us. Come on in. Did, did you know this is the guy from Barnes and Nobles? Uh, but, uh, that's a small talk you do. <laughs> it's a distract him. Yeah, that it's Dave and Buster's They're card. looking at it. Hey, uh, I'm going to tell you. Um, but no. My buddy uh, was at this bar called Bourbon Bourbon Street Bar, which was like kind of the freshman bar. We went there all the time. Um, he called me like one Friday morning, and he goes, dude, he goes, I was at Bourbon last night. And he said, 
I guess on the way out, I found an ID on the floor and I picked it up, just put it in my back pocket, like didn't think much about it. He's like, and it's like a 21 year old ID. And it's, <laughs> I have struck gold. Yeah. I mean, just like <laughs> boom. And uh, he's like, and it's a, you know, skinny little white boy with a buzzed haircut. He's like, kind of looks like me and you. I was like, awesome. I was like, oh, that's backhanded compliment, but yeah, whatever. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, yeah, it's going to cool and, it, man. And so he was like, I'm going to use it, but he was like, I think it would work better for you. And so we shared it. And that ID was Ashley David Parker was the yeah, guy's name. Yeah. And, um, yeah, I mean, it was, we did the whole pass back and everything. And if somebody was going yeah. to like Auburn for a weekend, they got to borrow it and all yeah. that stuff. And unfortunately, what it, happens if it was like too close to call and you, do you like rock, paper, scissors? Do you yeah, I mean, I kind of gave him the, uh, he kind of had finders, first did. Keepers, yeah, finders yeah. keepers. I mean, after all, he was in college and I wasn't. <laughs> you know, it's like, I was like, okay, you probably need it more than I do. But, and then unfortunately, it had a, uh, you know, it's it's death was like most fake IDs. It just finally got to the wrong bouncer, and they're mm, like, yeah, yeah no, nope. that's not you. Back pocket, yep. see you, goodbye. But yeah, um, you know, years later, I was living in Nashville, and um, I was writing with two of my favorite people in the world, Jesse Alexander and John Randall. We're sitting there like songwriters do, and honestly, nobody had any ideas. We're just kind of like, oh, well, you know, like yeah. nothing. And finally, I don't know why. But I just remembered that. And I always knew I wanted to write a song about it. And I wanted the name of the song to be the name of the fake yep. ID. And I explained it to him. And I said, yeah, I just think we could write this song called like David Ashley Parker from Powder Springs. And John Randall just like immediately he was like, that's awesome. Cool. He said, I think yeah. he said, I think that could be something special. And then we spent the net, we wrote it in like three hours and laughed and just yep. like had the time of our lives. And. Once it was done, I mean, I, I, the first person I sent it to was my buddy Michael, who yeah. found the ID. He's like, Let's and he go. was like, "You have to cut that. You have to put that out." And yeah, it became the first single, and it's uh, still probably one of my favorite songs to play live. And I feel like some of the best songs are ones that come from real stuff that oh, actually yeah. happens. A hundred percent. That's like the. That's like kind of what country music is about in my mind of like taking your own experiences and writing songs and doing that. It's that's pretty cool. Totally. Well, then it's it's right on the money too because uh, allegedly I had a fake ID in college as well. Yeah. As well. Um, it's been remember, rumored. Yeah, uh, yeah. I just remember He's shaking not, it, my boots the first time I put the case of beer up. I was like, <laughs> "Here you, you go, look sir. Like, you Tough look day like, at the mill." Yeah, uh, yeah. yeah. How looked, you been? He looked like McLovin. On, <laughs> yeah, uh, yep. super bad. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I remember I got my fake ID because there's a minor league baseball team in Fargo and I would go there for work all the time and there was the bartender in the beer garden. I saw her, fell in love. <laughs> couldn't couldn't get into the beer garden. That's though. maybe a whole song I right know. there. Fell in love with the bartender. Fell in love with the beer garden bartender. Mm -hmm. Oh, Ooh, my God. Yeah. I'll all cut right. you guys in on that okay, one. All right. Yeah, all right. yeah let's, yep. uh, let's get that guitar going. <laughs> <laughs> but I tried to sneak in wouldn't let me in, stopped me at the door, and immediately went on my phone. I was like, how do I get a fake ID? I got to get in there and talk to this girl. <laughs> I love that your fake ID story is like out of love. Yeah. And mine well, was out of, I want to drink. Yep. Well, it was a little bit yeah. of both. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. It was multi-purpose. Uh, got the ID, show up, talk to her the first time, 35 and married. Absolute heartbreak story He's like, for uh, me. I still went for it, but you know. Yeah. tried, got <laughs> shut down, but got some beers out of the deal. Yeah. So. And you were how old? Uh, like twenty, and I was nineteen when I got my fake ID. She's thirty-five. Yeah. <laughs> that's I got awesome. a type. That'd have been great. That's about that's, great story. that's pretty yeah. great. Yeah, um, yeah. Mine strictly was just out of I want to go in that bar and drink. But see, I mean, I started playing shows and stuff when I was like sixteen, and then by the time I was like a senior in high school, I mean, I was playing in bars. So I was in bars, but they were, you know. It was very rare that they'd be like, oh, we don't care. You can have a drink. And yeah. half the time my parents were with me. You know, oh, yeah. my, my parents were like, not to throw them under the bus, but they were kind of, I wouldn't say they were like pro, like underage drinking, but I think they were more like, well, if our kids do it, around us or near us then we're able to well it's like the, handle the situation you learn how to handle yourself and if they're doing around. it where we can't see them who knows mm -hmm. what kind of stupid well, stuff yeah it's do. also like the thing of like really strict parents are you the that ha people have really strict have parents end up children. being the crazy right. yep. children later on yeah. so it's like that makes sense to me yeah 100%. Cool. yeah i mean that was like 
it, everybody used to ask me, like, what do your parents think about the fake ID song? I'm like, hell, I went out with them with the fake ID <laughs> half yeah, the well, time. Hey, yeah. They helped me memorize the stuff. Yeah. I yep, did flashcards yep. with that. You. Was, yeah. That was our uh, homework. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Now, where, what street address again? What high school? Like, like what puts man? you in pressure situations, too. Yeah. They, like, shine the light on your face and, like, yeah. uh, they do this thing. The playing, Yeah, they're playing loud music. So you just, like, have all these, like, extra sounds around, so training you to, you know, perform under pressure. The, the worst one I ever saw was a buddy of mine. I was finally 21. A friend of mine was 20. He had a fake ID. We went to Losers here in Nashville oh, yeah. yep. and walked up. I got in. And buddy handed him the ID and I noticed that he got turned down. So I walked outside and I was like, what happened? He goes, he looked at my ID and he said, what year did you graduate high school? And he said, he just looked at him and went, <laughs> he's like, I freaked out, but I just went to answer, you know, like just think, just whatever. And he was like, 95 he's like that'd make you 30 something and you're not <laughs> he, he, just, he goes what year did you graduate high school 95 yep that's exactly when i nope okay i'll see you later goodbye well, hold on let's say let me carry the one how old yeah, would i um, be oh, oh, i always shit. get stumped oh. on this stuff um yeah. yeah bad memory that's all it is yeah yeah i just yeah, can't yeah. remember the war you know? <laughs> i graduated during vietnam yeah yeah that is tough back then yep. yeah <laughs> yeah god that would be unbelievable to whip out like yeah we'll just start telling a war story you know yeah like, just completely made up just getting but, but like really detailed i mean yeah. it's a hail mary yeah might i've as seen well, them work yeah you yeah. might as well try it um so we were talking beforehand that you love to fish um and tyler does a lot more open water fishing i do more ice fishing have you ever been ice fishing before? I never have. I would love to go. Mm -hmm. Now, if I go ice fishing, I kind of, I mean, I, I want to go like glamping ice fishing. Oh, well, then you're talking to the right guy here. <laughs> I want to uh, be in the hut that's like 55 degrees. Mm -hmm. Oh, we can get away higher Oh, beautiful. Yeah. Let's oh, yeah. do it. You're sweating there. What's funny is, so the uh, other guy's not here. It's on this podcast. We all three are like different ice fishermen. Yep. Tyler just wants to sit out on a bucket and tip on the ups. ice with tip ups yep. and just sit and have some beers. Uh, Ryan is our other guy. He has a portable pop up. And so you can like move around a little right. more easier. And I just bought what they call an ice castle this last year. And that's what you're talking about. I'm kind of like, I think I'm down to do it all because mm -hmm. I love, I, I think, I think it sometimes it's cool to like earn it in that sense of like being out in the elements, but also I'd be down to like play Madden while <laughs> hot dogs <laughs> well, were we, like going. We, and then it's like, Oh, we, Oh, we got a crappie. Okay, cool. Sweet. Yeah. yeah. So the thing I bought was a, is a 2006, right? Two, Something uh, like that. Yes. 2006 or 2007 ice castle. We got it. We walk in and there's the TV on there and it's got a DVD slot on the side and mm -hmm. we're like, let's go. That is so awesome. we uh, bought a bunch of DVDs from eBay or something. No, somebody from the podcast sent us a box of old DVDs. Oh, really? We were talking That's about we it. Those? We're like, we don't have DVDs anymore. And then somebody that listens sent us a giant box, like 15 DVDs. That's then, awesome. You need to go to like a Love's gas station. I yeah. mean, they just have the bins of like $3 yeah. DVDs. And they're all just the obscure worst movies, movies you've ever. never heard of. I mean, even like, like, B-side Steven Seagal movies. Yep, yep. Like even he wouldn't remember <laughs> filming them. You know, like that's lots of Roadhouse movies. type stuff. Yeah, yep. absolutely. Yeah. But it's yeah. like Road Outhouse. Mm. Yeah. Weird, weird yep. side names like that. It's just bathroom <laughs> fights. Yeah, just yeah. just strictly it's, bathroom fights. Yeah. I love that. Yeah. <laughs> so what do y'all like? What do y'all fish for? So the the type of fishing I do. So I like to fish, but I'm a lazy fisherman. I want to just sit there and wait until I know there's a fish. So that's why like tip ups. The fish will take the bait and then a flag pops up. Right. So I'll just sit there and wait for flags. And that's usually like bigger fish like northerns or you yeah. can you can tip up fish muskies and stuff like that. That's awesome. So that's what I go for. I don't actually do a ton of open water fishing. And if I do, it's like cat fishing on the river. Right. Where you just stick your pole in the mud and wait for the bell to ring. Yeah. Just easy yeah. peasy. See, yeah. I love I love to bass fish. Like that's yeah. my favorite thing. So I like if I'm not doing throwing and doing mm -hmm. stuff like that. Do you do any fly fishing? You know, I bought my first fly rod two years ago and I have not even opened it. Really? The package. Yeah, yeah. Really. I think, um, I just don't think I'm going to like fall in love with it. Yeah. I think I would, I'll enjoy it. Yeah. And I love, 
Well, the only reason why I say is you say if you're if you you want to be casting and doing stuff. I mean, right. you're doing shit the whole time while you're yeah, fly constantly fishing. doing yeah. it. Yeah. yeah, I mean, we like we love going out west. Like we love Wyoming, and I lived in Utah for a few years growing up and stuff. So like. I love all that, and I love the idea of fishing and having a beautiful view and all that stuff. I just, it's so weird. Like, there's something kind of, like, inherently, like, passionate about, like, bass fishing that I like. And I don't know if it's just because, like, my dad loved it growing up. And, and it's kind of a southern thing. It's yeah. not, I mean, it's not, yeah. so you can do it anywhere, but there's... That's just like I grew up where like all my friends yeah. had boats and they fished, they bass fished. There's something that I'm really like attracted to there. Yep. I will tell you, I like I would give anything to like have a summer home in like Wisconsin or Minnesota. Yeah. I mean like and there just smallmouth fish all well, day. Every fishing day. openers this weekend or next weekend. Yes. Yeah, and it's yeah. like a it's it's like religion out there for that though. Oh yeah. Every lake will be covered in boats. Do y'all do you know like St. Croix rods? You ever heard of yep. St. Croix fish yep. rods? So I got a buddy who works for them. I'm like a honorary pro staff member. I'm not like okay. I'm not totally tooting my horn, but yeah. I'm just like barely just yeah. barely hitting it. You yeah, know, like whoops, I accidentally. Oh, whoopsie daisy. Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. Best rods on earth, no big deal. They put my you know, picture of me on their website. But anyways, <laughs> um but uh no, I, I went up there and So you're a hacker too. You hacked in their website. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got it in there. Yeah, there. pretty yeah. good at that. Gotcha. I'm like yeah. it's like St. Croix Rods. Did you know Dave and Buster's is sponsoring? <laughs> <laughs> um, no, <laughs> I went up there and performed for their like customer appreciation day. It was just like, you know, a couple acoustic songs for everybody. But I went up there and fished that morning. And it was like, I mean, if we have a day on the Cumberland River here or Percy Priest where there's a foot and a half of visibility, we're like, damn, clear water <laughs> yeah. up there. I'm like, those trees are 13 feet below us and I yep. can see them. I mean, yeah. it was like mind blowing. Yeah. I mean, we were sight fishing smallmouth in 10 feet of water. Yeah, isn't that weird to sight fish for the first time? I mean, it's so crazy. Yeah. I mean, just unbelievable. And then to hook one and it's like, I mean, it's like 70 yards away mm -hmm. and you're just watching it fight the whole way. I mean, it was so awesome. Yeah. I would hate to live there in the winter for sure. Yeah. Uh, I don't we, know how y'all do it. We had a buddy come up from Nashville. There's only like one direct flight. It's on Allegiant. And uh, we joked that we sent we sent a private jet for him because yeah. he was the only one on a flight in January from Nashville to Fargo. <laughs> and he's like, yeah, thanks for sending the private jet, guys. Yeah. I was the only one on the flight. I flew into like Rhinelander. Which, oh, that's which, in Wisconsin. Yeah, yep, in Wisconsin, yep. and then drove up to Park Falls, and like on that flight, it was it was Minneapolis to Rhinelander, and it was less than half full. And as soon as like I walked on, I think everybody on the plane knew each other. <laughs> like I think they were all, and they were just like, "Oh, what you what are you doing here? Are you going fishing?" I'm like, "Yeah." They're like, "We can tell you're not from here." I'm like. <laughs> that makes no sense. I'm just wearing clothes. Like I'm not wearing anything. I don't have a shirt that says like born and raised in Georgia, but yeah. I, I'm like, they all know each other yeah. for sure. But you got man. a tattooed on your forehead. Yeah, 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 yeah. Pretty much, I guess. Um, did it, were they like, okay, oh, if you're going fishing, man, you got to go to this spot or whatever. Oh yeah. Like the, this lady I sat by, she was like, I told her, I was like, yeah, I'm going to like Park Falls. She's like, oh yeah. She's like, that's up there. Well, yeah. Well, <laughs> she's you're like, you're going to have to say hi to Dave when you get yeah, there. Yeah, like, yeah, oh, Dave, yeah. Oh, Dave's There's got There's how many to, people up yeah. there. I'm just going to find Dave. Dave, that's own, <laughs> Dave owns all the subways in town. You're going <laughs> to yeah. want to go hang out with him, uh, get in good with him. But uh, yeah, it was, uh, but just so unbelievably beautiful up yeah. there. I mean, like. Well, I mean, that's why, like, yeah, like, that's why a lot of people live there is, you know, the winters kind of suck, but, you know, the summer is really great and it's beautiful and lakes, lake season's fun and all that stuff. So we also have kind of a weird, stubborn pride about surviving the cold. Right. Like anytime we go somewhere else and like if it's cold in Nashville and someone complains about it, the first thing out of it, wow, it gets way colder up north. Oh, yeah. you think yeah. this yeah. is cold? You th yeah. Oh, God, you should see it. Or it's like we complain when it gets to be like negative twenty, yep. but we like secretly love to be like, huh, well, yeah, we survived the negative twenty. It's like, oh yeah, there. it was tough, but you should have seen it last. I year. had to break yeah. out my sweatshirt today in the negative twenty degree <laughs> yeah. weather. Huh? Just rough. Yeah. Guess no barbecue. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, no grilling today. I guess. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That is one thing. Like we 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 on on our content, we posted something about like the end of grilling season or the start of grilling season. They're like, 
what do you mean? I've been grilling all winter long. Yep. I'm like, Jesus, you guys are, mm-hmm. you guys are really intense, but yeah, pretty yeah. into it. See, yeah. we, it's like, I mean, it's already 90 degrees here. Oh yeah. I mean, yeah. Just, that we know. yeah. <laughs> Sweating just absolutely brutal. And, um, I don't know, Tennessee's first off, I guess just out of nowhere, Tennessee decided to just have the worst weather in the United States of America. I mean, it's, it's like the, the, the past year or two, I'm like, Holy shit. Like we've had tornadoes. Yeah. Three, four times a year. Well, in we, different spots. we were here a year ago and there was like flash flooding when, when we yeah. were here. Oh yeah. yeah. I mean, the, uh, Nashville is a kitchen sink. Like if you look at it from a topographical, is yeah, that, that's, I, like, oh, that's great. I'm glad boom. you said it. Cause I wouldn't yeah, be able to. I was like topographical, <laughs> nah, t- topographical, a um, geo, yeah. a geo thing. It is like everything around it. Like the surrounding counties is all mountainous yep. and then it just, comes down like this yeah. and so yeah it rains for six hours and it's like get cancel, the high ground yeah cancel the rest of my day i can't go anywhere can't go anywhere i'm telling you and and, and that's great for fishing you know it's like You're i mean standing outside your house just yeah passing into the road and then you go to the lake it's like hmm, these marinas are underwater right now <laughs> yeah. and the water is chocolate milk this is wonderful but yeah so it's weird it does get really cold and the humidity makes it tough but man, like spring took forever this year and yeah. then it lasted seven days. Yeah. Well, we just had snow where we're at like a week and a half ago. So. I, I was texting a buddy of mine who lives in Wisconsin. He said two weeks ago, there was still ice on the yep. lake and yeah. they're finally fishing now. Yep. Yeah. Golly. Yeah. Cause that's always the thing is like, will the ice always be off? Usually it is by fishing opener, but yeah, it's like, it's not thick enough to ice fish and it's not off enough for you to open water fish so you're in a weird limbo so that's when you just kind of sit there and wait and y'all keep saying like so y'all have like fishing seasons right yep yeah Yeah. so like that is crazy yeah so once the ice gets thick enough you can like then drive your cars out there and you can bring the ice castles the camper stuff out there and all that and then there gets to be a point where it starts melting and it's too thin and Mm -hmm. there is like a what like a two week period where the ice is thick enough for you to go out there with like a bucket and just fish and it's like 60 degrees out or 50 degrees so you're like just chilling outside and sweatshirt on the ice um but then after that it gets too thin and yeah yeah but yeah dang that's crazy. Yeah, you got to you got to go ice fishing. I know, I need yeah. to, man. It's I want cool. to so bad. Yeah, it'd be great. Um so let's talk this summer. You're uh going to be traveling a lot. You uh you're going to be on the Jake Owen tour. Yeah. You're going to be with Dirk Bentley this summer too, right? Yep, absolutely. Yeah, we'll be with Dirk starting in like 3 weeks. It'll be uh me, uh Ashley McBride, who is amazing, and um and then Dirk's. I mean, I can't wait. This is like my first like kind of big tour yeah like you know yep. amphitheaters and stuff we were supposed to tour with uh sam hunt in 2020 but you know there was that whole um, yeah so pandemic. there was something yeah, going yeah on. i don't remember yeah, yeah. a tough thing going around yeah. and uh so this will be the first full-on just amphitheaters super fun and i am like counting down the days there's there's nothing better than being an opener on like one of those tours. Yep. Cause I'm telling you right now, you really don't do anything. I mean, <laughs> you don't have to provide catering. You don't have to, I mean, you, so you're in the sweet spot is what you're saying right now. We, I will, I will say to me, the ultimate sweet spot is like the direct support. Like yeah. Ashley, I think has the best spot because here, here's the only thing that happens. that's tough for first of three. And when you like, I'll be 30 this year. And like, I'm, there's a lot of things that are catching up to me that I'm starting to realize. <laughs> Waking up, you're sore for no just reason. no reason. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And dude, I mean, I a hundred percent have to schedule when I eat. Like of just like, <laughs> I mean, I used to like when I was 25, I could eat three enchiladas and be like, I'm gonna go sing for 90 minutes. Yeah. I mean, I, I could just do that. Yeah. And now I can't eat two damn hours before I sing. Yeah. Because I'll get on stage and I want to die. I'll be sweating. <laughs> My gut is just poking the guitar out. Like the guitar is looking at the ground a little bit. And I, I, I'm like, you know, burping in between every phrase. So that's the only tough thing because what happens is we'll sound check probably at 4.30 or 5. And then we're going to go on at like 6.30. Yep. So it's like you have if you a twenty eat, minute window. To oh, eat literally, before, yeah. yeah. So I think the plan is, I'm gonna fix a plate. 
leave it on the bus and eat it after I play. There you go. Yeah, that's my new thing. But literally, I sound check at 4.30. I'm done at 7.30. Man, that's it. Yeah, and you're just hanging out. I'm yeah. just hanging out, doing there you stuff. Go. Yeah. Eating. Eating. Yeah, <laughs> afterwards, for yeah. sure. Yeah. Not on the clock it, yeah. at all. But uh, no, I can't wait. I mean, Dirks has been um, probably my number one bucket list tour I've ever wanted to go on. Uh, one of the, actually the first song I ever covered with a band, like when I started kind of playing clubs mm-hmm. and stuff with a band was, what was I thinking? By there you band. go. Yeah. That's awesome. That's got to be such a cool feeling. Yeah. It's going to be great, man. So, yeah, and by the end of the tour, you'll be so sick of him. I'm just like, I hate God this guy. damn it. Good yeah. Lord. Dirk's Bentley <laughs> and his stupid catering. <laughs> Why can't he just why can't he just get Mexican food once in a while? Just once. Yeah. I'm sure it'll be all healthy and stuff, which is probably good. But uh yeah, yeah that'd be great. And then Jake Jake this fall, Jake is like a phenomenal guy. I'll tell you a quick little story about Jake Owen and why I think he's a great guy. So um he's from Vero Beach, Florida, and um which they the locals apparently call it Zero Beach because apparently there's nothing to do. But <laughs> But I went there and it was freaking awesome. I thought Vero oh. Beach was like badass. There you go. I took my best friend from high school. He actually lives in Murfreesboro, so I see him all the time. Um, he's in the Air Guard and he was deploying to Okinawa for three, four months. And it's it's really funny, like when that was happening, I'm like, hey man, like, you know, like take care of yourself over there. He's like <laughs> I'm going to Japan. He's like, this is like vacation. He's like, he's like, you know, he, my bass player one time told him like, man, thank you for your service. He's like, dude, I mean, I fly one day and then get drunk for two days when I'm over there. Like, it's not to discount everybody else, but I just love that part of the story. But yeah, um, I took him to Vero t- to go like on a fishing trip just before mm-hmm. he went to Japan. And I called Jake. I was like, hey, I need some guide recommendations. And so he sent me a buddy he grew up with who took us like, you know, salt water fishing on the river side of, yep. of Vero. And then we went bass fishing with another guy. Both were epic trips, you know, awesome stuff. And um, we got back to our hotel after fishing the first day. And Jake was like, hey, go to the front desk. Uh, Cause like, there's, there's something there for you. So we go and I'm like, hey, uh, I think there's something here for room, whatever, you know. And his mom had brought us some local beer and dropped us off like a six pack of beer. She was like, Hey Briggs, like good luck in Japan and thank you for your service. That's awesome. So he's a solid guy. The, there's a story because so uh, what the big festival we're up where we're at is in Detroit lakes it's called we fest and he was playing there and he came into town and he like hit up some fans or some fans hit him up and, he like went wake surfing on the lake with them. Yep. And oh, that's that so awesome. Yeah. He is obnoxiously good at everything. I, I, it, it pisses me I off. I don't know why, but like that doesn't surprise me. He seems oh, like yeah. a guy who's got a lot of like charisma and just can like walk into a situation. And just oh, it. like yeah. it, him and Chase Rice and like Riley Green and like those kind of guys, they just like obnoxiously good at stuff they're all in shape (laughs) jake owen can do backflips on a weight board oh i believe he's a scratch golfer i'm a better fisherman than he is but like everything else like chase rice buff guy was a was a damn hendrix motorsports pit guy yeah yeah came in second place on survivor what can't they do i mean he was on the bachelor (laughs) yeah just crazy man those kind of people just piss me off those are the guys though like they're your friends but you'd love to see them fail every once (laughs) oh you just love to see just yeah someone trip them beat them yeah not like bad but just like be walking trip they fall you don't want them to get hurt but you'd love to see jake go and maybe eat shit on the way a hundred percent i want to see him go like toe down boom nose to the the thing is about those guys is like there's no cool way to fall but they'll figure out a cool way to fall. <laughs> They'll be like, yeah. oh, oh, off and play, yeah, it, oh, play it off. They damn. get up and like, oh, I did that on purpose. You're yeah. Like, yeah, you probably did. Dude. They like they like get back up. They have a beard. You know, it's just like, oh, sorry. Oh, yeah. It's well, like, it, holy yeah, shit. Yeah, it's like a yeah. magic. Trick. They get up and then just yeah. like holding a bunny. You're like, what the fuck? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Doves <laughs> fly out of there. <laughs> fall down, grab a beer on the way down, <laughs> shotgun it. Beautiful. Yeah. yeah. They fall I break something. <laughs> like, like, it's oh, like, oh, shit. shit. Yeah, you turn too quick to see it. You hurt your neck. God yeah. damn. And then I'm just screwed. Yeah. <laughs> I'm probably off the Jake Owen tour now to think about it. <laughs> I said I wanted to see him eat shit. Sorry. I just blame it on me. Yeah, it's fine. Yeah. yeah. It was his yeah. fault. Sorry. Yeah, apologize because I'm sure he's watching this. Yeah, he is. Yeah, yeah, he yeah. comes in the door right now. 
What'd you say? And he comes in, he's got beer, he's trying to be nice to everybody, and we're like, oh, fuck. Oh, he's like, there's sorry. a fine line between funny and fired. I hope you know that. <laughs> yeah. I like that, actually. Jake, remember that. It's a fine line. That is words to live by. Yeah. Um, so you got any new music coming out? Coming up? Yeah, there? we yeah we just put out a song a couple weeks ago, and then we man, I've cut seven songs this year already. Uh, just finished up some vocals on new stuff, and I'm freaking I'm fired up, man. I mean, I think this year, just my goal has just been to try and be more creative. Yeah. And just if I write a song and love it, like don't think like oh I'll cut it in three months. It's like no, nah, let's go cut it right now. Let's go yep. record it and. Whether it comes out the next day or comes out in six months, it doesn't matter. Just being like reactive and creative. And I think we're going to put out another song probably like late May, early June. And then, um, you know, maybe a full record, maybe an EP, oh, some there we stuff go. like that. Little, yeah. yeah. I don't think there's any rules anymore. No, there's a little. It, it used to be like, you got to, you know, you got to have a top 10 and then you put out an album. And now it's like, if you can get a TikTok to blow up, then you can put out an album. Yeah. Oh, 100. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. It's yeah. like, oh, my God. You got 5 million views on your state video. Boom. Yeah. Gotcha. Uh, you, you put out a teaser and it does well. And they're like, all right, put the song out. Let's they're go. They're like, beautiful. Grammy nominated. Here we go. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it is crazy. All of my TikToks that go viral are, I mean, the furthest away from my music. I yeah. mean, don't have shit to do with me as an artist 100 percent. yeah but that's good yeah, i'm like hey i'm cooking steaks five million views <laughs> this is my cat running into the refrigerator so now you just got to work your music into those type of videos oh, i right? did bro I, I post i put it under there and it says it on the bottom travis yeah. denning she's on it right there the song yeah so this is uh, what you not do. one comment about the song though i'll tell you <laughs> It'll people come. are clicking on <laughs> yeah, it. Yeah, oh, yeah yeah they're clicking yeah so this is what you do you start sound if the things that are happening in your life are what blow is what's blowing up. You start soundtracking them. Yeah. So you just you make a song to the situation and you put it on that video. There, you go. there you go. I like that. I like that idea. So like the cat runs into the wall, you make up some shit about a cat running into the wall. Yeah, yeah. just like this cat is stupid. Mm -hmm. Chasing mm -hmm. ass everywhere. Yep. Threw an ass cube on the floor. And it ran into the fridge. <laughs> I was waiting this for a good. rhyme there. Yeah, yeah, no, no rhyme. I was like, <laughs> what is he going to rhyme this with? Yeah. That was like an A, B, C, D rhyme yeah. scheme right yeah. there. Just That's nothing. my kind of rhyme scheme, yeah, yeah. honestly. Yeah, 100%. It's a haiku. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. A couple syllables, something like that. Sweet, man. Well, we appreciate you coming on. Uh, where can everyone find you on your social channels? Um, on Facebook, Instagram, all that. I'm the one with the blue check mark. Oh, yeah. Not the one um, sending you poorly grammatical written sentences asking for wait time out you didn't say you, I, thought I you, sent you that yeah one. No, I sent you that no one. you said you were going to send me a thousand dollars on cash app though it, but you just had to do that that hundred dollar verification yeah, thing. Exactly, yeah, yeah no I sent you that one oh, and okay. I actually yeah. do need that really soon <laughs> but um yeah so anywhere I'm on the tic tac there yeah the old tic tock yep used to be on Christian Mingle but I'm spoken for now so um yeah. farmers only farmers only there you go yeah truckers Sweet. Well, check guys, it. you have to check him out. Look at his tour schedule. Go uh, find him at a show. And uh, again, man, thanks for coming on. This Thank you, great. guys. Appreciate it, man. <laughs> oh, such great vibes on that podcast. Yeah, that was. was a good one. Wouldn't you have liked to been there, Ryan? <laughs> <laughs> uh, right after when Travis no he did it, and then his 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 team came in, and then and then right, okay, but then you remember what? Yep, they yep. Yeah, I remember. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Good times. <sighs> that was good times. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, great interview, <laughs> great guy, good, good guy. Um, and to follow up, he was talking about Mudden, right? The mm -hmm. wait, I forget the name of it. Or was that after the podcast? And then he nope. talked yeah, about the right. mud and the. No. So there's <sighs> lots of it. <sighs> um, no, we talked some Dave and Buster's. You ever been to Dave and Buster's? That was my first time at Dave and Buster's. Really? What'd you get? What did I get at Dave and Buster's? Uh, I didn't go for tickets. I gave all my tickets to a little kid. Oh, oh coward! Fucking here we go. 
So high yeah. horse Ryan over here. No, I mean, what am I gonna do with like a fucking whoopee cushion? Or Save a- it for your. <laughs> <laughs> funny you should ask, Alan. <laughs> he, the funny thing is, right now is Ryan has not listened to the interview yet, mm-hmm. and we literally bought a whoopee cushion at <laughs> Dave and Buster's. I know you guys did. No. Don't get mad at it. We're going to be the Whoopi Cushion podcast. No, or Laffy Taffy. Laffy Taffy's are good and Tootsie Rolls are good. Um, but I got I, way too many tickets to be spending them on that low level stuff. Yeah, but you always have the, the four or five at the end. I save them. I was like 100 tickets away from getting a, a PS5. Corvette. No, a gun, a gun safe. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> I have 480,000 tickets. I was 100 Jesus. short. <laughs> did you uh did some you, of the stuff they have that you can get is unbelievable yeah did you try try the trick where you put it in reverse or whatever what's the deal what's the one where you film it and then you put you slow it down oh yeah yeah i did that um the first time i, I didn't do it this time okay but if you do the deal or no deal machine so it's illegal to like truly gamble at these so there has to be some sort of skill involved so when they mix up the cases it's too fast for you to actually track with the human eye but if you film it with the slow-mo app on your camera and watch it back, you can see where your case ended up. So then you know where the did million dollars. That? Yeah, I did. Not last time, but the time before. And how many tickets do you win for that? Oh, uh, you get like 250 or something. That's oh, it? Okay. Yeah. Okay. Wow. Not as sweet. I, th- I was thinking like 25,000. No. Oh. <gasps> how fast did you say you could throw a baseball? Uh, Clocked in at 87 fastest. That's mm-hmm. all time fast, though. Well, no, right now, how fast could you throw? Oh, right now, probably 84. Oh, wow. Gas. After seeing Tyler mm-hmm. go, you might actually be able to get that at d and I, I would believe that. What'd you get? I think it was a little juiced. I think it was a little juiced. I don't. I think it was actually not as fast. as You I didn't really even crow hop either. No, I didn't. I wanted it to be accurate. Jake crow hopped and got 62. <laughs> <laughs> no, his highest one was 69. Nice. Okay. That was, was that the crow hop? My then? highest one was 73. Mm-hmm. Ooh. Tyler's was 77. Yep. Arm well, got, well, he's got dad strength now. Yep. Um, yep. But Jake was fucking bragging about how he would throw <laughs> mid 70s, wasn't he? Oh, Did he say yeah. 80 yeah. at one point? He no, 80, said, he said 80 one time to me. Yeah. yeah. Last year. He said 80 to you. <laughs> yes. He didn't even break 70. On I, a crow I, hop. I, mm-hmm. I beat him and my shoulders are in shambles. On, on a crow hop, too, he, he hit 69. Yeah. So pretty bad. Pretty bad. Uh, just, uh, uh, Ryan, when you sidearm, because I sidearmed it because I knew that if I threw it normal, my arm would fall off. Yeah. Um, the inside of my bicep. What do they call this, uh, Miles? Exercise scientist. Well, that's, that's, your, that's your UCL. That's your Tommy John. No, that's on your forearm. Well, the, the UCL runs up to the side of your elbow. Whatever the sure. thing is, it connects right on your elbow bone right so here. This funny is, bone. What's so the Tommy? all that's in your top is your bicep and your tricep. And that's what's all. what's in between those two? There's got to be like a tendon or something. A bone. Oh, elbow. That's a bone. Well, that shit hurt. You have a hurt bone? I must have. Oh, that's you interesting. snap your humerus? I don't know what that I did. That is funny. <laughs> but it hurt. humerus. <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, um, so I won't be throwing any more pitches without warming up. Time out. Did you, did you develop Tommy John from in, in like four <laughs> throws? From yeah. Dave and Buster's. Yeah. It was you, worth you it. You might too. have a lawsuit. You didn't sign a waiver, yeah, did saying, you? No. <gasps> Here we go. Oh. I need to get Tommy John's Dave even if Tyler's. I don't need Tyler it. Tyler Ziegler versus Dave and Buster. Yeah. Ziegler versus Buster and Dave. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to set precedent. There was Buster, a, comma, Dave. There was a kid in college who had to get Tommy John and then he got, uh, <laughs> on the scar, he got baseball laces tattooed mm. on, the, on the scar. <laughs> no, it, as a as a as a as a ball player back in the day, it was sick back then. But now it's just not that sick. <laughs> At least it wasn't like a track incident, and then he got some track thing, and he like yeah. And then he just doesn't ever think about it <laughs> right. again. It's like a right. football field. You yeah. play football? No track. <laughs> <laughs> That's well, it's the loop around there. Yeah, yeah. yeah it's yeah. not as cool as. Yeah. Worth, you should have like a four wheeler driving on top or something like off roading or something. Uh, that'd be kind of cool. <laughs> Cooler than a fucking baseball lace. Barbed wire would have been cool too. Barbed wire would have yeah, been flames. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you get a tattoo on a scar. It didn't even hurt either. It's like getting a tattoo on your weenus. <laughs> <laughs> Because <laughs> if you if you pinch your weenus, it doesn't even hurt. But wouldn't you not want a tattoo on your weenus because it's like will wear off, kind of like getting one on your foot? Because your I elbows are rubbing on stuff all the time. I don't know. I, I don't I don't know. know. That's I'm a always, good question. I'm continually rubbing elbows with people. You guys maybe yeah. want me to get a weenus tattoo and let you know? <laughs> 
Weenus is such a great name. For Literally, them. can we have you get a tattoo that you just it just says Weenus? <laughs> I don't know if I want that. You want something cooler? Yeah. I've seen people who get like stars, like spider webs and stuff too. They're spider webs, yeah. But they always do it around the Weenus. Yeah, yeah. They never actually tattoo the Weenus. No, I think I've seen a tattooed Weenus before. Get a tattoo of a penis on your Weenus. <laughs> okay. <laughs> just a cock and balls out. out so then, the when open. your arm is fully extended, your arm is fully extended, it, then you then you flex it grows. your arm and it grows. Oh. Yeah. That would be That's, that'd sick. be a new foreplay, right? Yeah. Yeah. The, uh, just oh, hey, honey. Hey. <laughs> Weenus. <laughs> uh, Weenuses are bonkers. They are. They really are. So what prompted you guys to go to Dave and Buster's? Fillmore. Yeah, we didn't have a choice. <laughs> oh, really? He's, he yeah. just drag, drug us. Drag, drugged? Yeah, he, he drugged brought us and then <laughs> drug us. <laughs> he brought us he to Dave and Buster's. He drugged you and drug us. He drugged you and then you woke up at Dave and Buster's. It's funny. Uh, could be right worst places like it could be chained up in a basement. So that's kind yeah, of true. Mm-hmm. We, uh, uh, my Tommy we, John probably would have been fine though in a basement. That is yeah. true. You wouldn't have suffered a a career ending injury like yeah. that. <laughs> Sucks. I gotta and die on top. Uh, but no, we were at the historical Grand Ole Opry, right? Ooh. Right across the street. You'd think D&B. after after playing at the Grand Ole Opry, Fillmore would want to maybe like go party at like a dope bar somewhere. Maybe went to D and B. Yeah, I like that out of him. Yep. Yeah, I do like that out of him. I That's a, a sh- classic. Act like you've been there. Move. You know? yeah, yeah, exactly. I got a shitload of tickets still on my card. Didn't spend them all. Can you sell those on eBay? Give maybe. me a kid. No, you I'm probably save- can. Sell that <laughs> card. I'm, I'm saving them for a good prize for my kids. Well, he is giving it to a kid. It's his own. Yeah. True. <laughs> Touche. <laughs> I don't have kids, so I had no kid to give it to. Yeah, so. well, you should have been saving them for when you do. That is big, big, bon- big bonkers move by Imagine you. Imagine for one of your kids' birthday, you gave him a DMB card with like 500,000 tickets on it. <laughs> that would be that But would you be want sweet. him to earn it. That's a bad life lesson. True. That's, That's very true. So ba- okay. No, it's a bad life lesson. <laughs> The birthday, uh, no, what but I the do, birthday should be that he's got to go and work for those tickets. What True. I do is I, I send <laughs> my them, kids are gonna hate me. I yeah. send them to Dave and Buster's for their birthday, and if they get to like a thousand tickets on their own, it's like good job, kid. And then I secretly switch the card with them, so they earned it, but they didn't earn that much. But that's part of the birthday. They present. only learned a th- they only earned a thousand though. They don't know that because they can't count yet. Oh yeah! Oh, you're doing one of those things. Yeah, it's it's the birthday present. I'm but giving them a gonna gift. They're going to grow up thinking that they only have to do a thousand tickets worth of work to get five hundred. You also tickets. Gifts are not supposed to be earned. You give <laughs> gifts for birthdays. I know, that but the true. best gift you can give someone is a hard work ethic, it's knowledge. <laughs> knowledge. It's a good work ethic. Mm. Knowledge is power, and work ethic is what makes it all go round. <laughs> Okay. So you tell me if gifts should be worked for or given. Given. That's yeah, the whole like point given, of a yeah. gift. Success isn't given, it's earned. Yeah, we're not, and it's not rent success. is due every day. They call it the present because it's the gift. That's a good one. Yeah. Yeah. Well, time, give them time. Yeah. Just be like, hey, I'm here. We're here. What's your present? <laughs> <laughs> it's a gift. Give me more time know. to give you a present. This seems like uh Sounds like a lot of handouts for your kid, Tyler. I earned them. I can do whatever yeah, I want man. with them. Yeah, you are right. You can't give it to your kid, mm-hmm. but I guess. Yeah. yeah. Put it in, yep. put it in the will. Half a million DMV oh, tickets. Yeah. I'll have way more than that by the time I die. Uh, You'll have a deer stand, yep. hopefully. Maybe they should give away deer stands for 500,000 tickets. They should. I don't have to build one. That'd be a great interview question. Would you rather work for 500,000 tickets or would you rather be given 500,000 tickets? His kid will be like, rather be given. I'll be like, I'm not hiring you. <laughs> <laughs> Sell me this pad. Yeah. 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 Same type of concept. Yeah. yeah. What do you do with these 500,000 <laughs> David Buster points? You give them to a little kid. Give, give them to someone else because I got to earn mine. <laughs> Boom. Hired. <laughs> Get a tear in your eye. But then they're giving out handouts too. <sighs> yeah. It doesn't matter if you're giving hands out. It matters if you're taking them. <laughs> What's going on? This? I don't know. I have you no devolved this. All right, guys. Thanks for tuning in to another episode of You Betcha Radio. As always, go follow the Patreon page. How many hours? 18? Yep, 18 now. 18 mm. hours of extra content is on there. Every week we put out another episode. 
patreon.com slash you betcha radio go go check that out um you can get in for only five bucks a month yep so the deal yeah um yeah thanks for tuning in guys may your ranch always be runny may your bush lattes be bonkers (laughs) (laughs) cheers all right Wow. Oh, you betcha, yeah. Yeah.